Hello everyone and welcome back to Freaky Friday. If you're joining us for the first time in this series, we're in the middle of a Circle Undone campaign using only investigator starters. I have Winifred Habamuck, Stephen Estella Clark, and we are going to do all of this for the greater good. I uh, hope everyone's doing all right. How is everybody doing? You guys doing okay? I got the fancy shirt out today. A lot of noise going on in the office. I can hear like a rumble back there. These things are being shipped. Uh, hey, we're saying today is the release of this that I got on my desk because it's the first What's that? Mythos pack I've gotten through a subscription. It's a fish person. Out. In too deep, yeah. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I didn't know you spoke deep. their language. Uh, that's right. This, uh, this pack came out today. <laughs> if you're a subscriber, first off, thank you so much for being a pack subscriber. Thank you. Uh, you All of you are really how everything at Covenant happens, all the subscriptions. Paid uh, for these plants. And these microphones and these cameras and lights and... Everyone. And this fine shirt. Uh, and this this fine shirt. Uh, do you get a paycheck uh, But from it this came out today, I believe. Let me look at the back. It's pack one of the uh, Innsmouth Conspiracy Cycle. So the Deluxe came out. This is the first pack. And it's coming out today. If, you've, if you're a subscriber, you should have been charged. You should have already gotten tracking. And it should be. I saw people in chat saying they were receiving it today if they're in the U.S. Most of those are going to show up today or tomorrow. Uh, and at... Uh, USPS with COVID and everything going on has uh, been hit or miss in some regions, but we get them out the door as soon as possible. I'm going to show you what we're working on with the Innsmouth uh, Doom. So let me go in here since it's just a good segue. You guys aren't going to really be able to see this. I, I, sh I can zoom in the camera easily. That makes it okay. Ah, there we go. Okay, so if you, if you notice, you've got... Essentially, the, the original, uh, essentially the Dunwich design, the corset design, which we kind of see as a one big continuation. I know it's different, but it's not that different. The red on black base. Yeah, and it's the moon cycles. It's the phases of the moon, right? So going from waxing to waning, etc. cetera. And you got the claws and the webs and all the crazy stuff on it. Then you get into the circle undone. You get into the imagery of like the witches and tarot and, and the spectral stuff that we've been seeing. John did a deep dive to get that symbology. So this is the start of Something Innsmouth. Something beautiful. So uh, one of the big things about Innsmouth, I don't know if they're going to explore it in, if Matt's going to explore it in the cycle. Jonathan's uh, done, a, a, again, a deep dive on this one. And it actually it revolves a lot about cl clocks, uh, clocks and time, and particularly like just clocks. So we've got kind of a fishy uh, clock here, which uh, is also got some scaling and stuff around the outside, which is different than, than the rest of the designs. But then... Yeah, zoom in and zoom more. Zoom in and enhance. This is one of my favorite things. So we took the clock and we kind of have the two uh, clock faces uh, over here. But also, if you imagine your fish person, it's kind of got the uh, the eyes. Like it looks like a pair of eyes. If you can see that, like a fish, uh, I can a fish it. man. You got the like little uh, slits going. Eyes on. coming in. Uh, so that's what we're working on right now. We love doing these little uh, uh, doom tokens, and you should see those here pretty quick. So. We like, we like playing with that imagery where you, you kind of see it the first time and then you're like, wait a minute. The more you see it. The second time and then all of a sudden. Yeah. What's going on? It's too good. What's going on? Uh, but yeah, uh, someone was asking earlier, I think it was Carl saying, hey, can we look at the player cards in this pack? You never know. I we, can't. We, we might do that after the fact. We don't have anything ready for that. Uh, if you're at home and you're open, I don't want to spoil anything for people that don't want to be spoiled. Nah. Anyways. Uh, so I normally have been doing the setup for these scenarios at least as much as possible before we start. And we have this uh, book, and I'm not going to... I'm going to say it once, and I'm going to be done. Uh, the book, you can find it somewhere online. Somewhere Choose online. Choose your Google own adventure. It. Search it. Arkham. Duck, duck, go. Reddit. Some uh, what are the other ones? Bing. Shout out to uh, Chris Hodevec for uh, giving us this book. It's a very kind gift of you. Um, all but... right. Let's do it. Get back on the mic. Mm -hmm. That's what we all yep. came for. Let's make it happen. Yeah, what is this called? The, for the greater good? For the greater good. Can you hear me on this now? Which mic are we on? I can't. I can hear you in the room. Uh, yeah, they they can hear you on that. Uh, quick thing, Jonathan H. Saying, I know it's not Monday, LOL. But when will you guys uh, be playing Ant Man and Champions? I just got mine in the mail today. Well, thanks for being a subscriber. I assume that's how you got that so quickly. Uh, Who we, else would ship it that fast? We huh? are planning on playing Ant Man on Monday. Uh, at least once, we'll probably do the Kang scenario. We're in the middle of a Rise of Red Skull campaign, so we might just take a week off the campaign and Ant Man it up. Ben Sweeney says, I came for the Nalgene plug. Oh, you're back to Old Faithful. Back to Old Faithful. It was, uh, it had a uh, brief, but this is the thing about the bottles, you know, they, they come and go. They're, they're, they're forever. Um, 
as you guys know, a, a disposable bottle is a moment and an algene is forever. Which did you branding, write that yourself? They're, they're, they're wanting us to try out the new logo, see how you did guys you, like did it. Did you charge them for that? <laughs> I think you should send over an invoice. This is made in the USA. This is food grade uh, HDPE plastic, I believe. Going up to 48 ounces. Got nice measurements on the sides here. Milliliters and ounces. I swear ready. eventually someone from Nalgene is going to be watching. Forwards and backwards. And it's either going to be a big legal suit because they don't actually sponsor us. <laughs> or they're going to reach out and be like... Can we get you guys some water bottles? Yeah. And then this is a sticker from one of my favorite record, record labels, not record labels, which is a very different concept. Record labels, past inside the present. I believe they're outside of, uh, they're either in Cali or uh, like a weirder place, like Indiana. So weird. It's an ambient uh, record label. Check it out. Uh, listen to some of the newest releases, also sponsored by them. Here, uh, there was a question earlier I wanted to answer. I forgot who asked it, but... They were basically asking if I sign up for a subscription now that a cycle started, what happens? Uh, so all subscriptions work this way, which is they'll say TBA or next. They won't say TBA. Hopefully they don't say TBA. If they say TBA, say, we don't know what's coming. It hasn't, been, be announced. Announced. It hasn't yeah. been announced. But they'll say what's next. Uh, when you sign up, you'll always get future product. It'll never go back. People, A lot of people think when you sign up, you'll start getting starting with pack one all the way through. That's not how that works. It literally you sign up, and it's just everything else that comes out, uh, the, everything previously. You need to hop on a wait list of red stock, buy it, or find it somewhere else. So if you sign up right now, the next thing you'll get is the second pack of Insma. That's right. If you sign up after the second pack, but before the third pack, if it's as long as two weeks before the third pack's going to release, you'll get the third pack. And you look at that field that says next release. We try to make it easy. Next release will tell you what the next release is when you sign up. <laughs> so what does it say now? Do we know the second pack name? We do. Yeah, we do. So it, it'll say the second pack. We good. Uh, okay, so you remember what happened last time? No. Last time was a... Yeah, we did well. We got two of the... Uh, of the, the uh, Are they called heretics? Heretics, thank yeah. you. So there are four heretics, and we basically brought peace to two of them. We got very fortunate. Apparently, like, the other two have to be in different locations as well, and we yeah. happened to hit one-on-one. -on -one. Well, the one we hit was like, you need to defeat this and take it to this location that we were yeah. already at, which is, it was random, so thank the maker for that. Anyways... So we did that. Let me see. I'm just going to go back a page. We got two. Two out of four, apparently. That's, that's okay. That's pretty good. It'd be easy to find yourself into zero of those heretics in that campaign. And do you remember... Um, so we did the heretics, but then like... Then what? we ran. We ran back to the lot. And right? resigned. Yeah. yeah. We ran out of it, basically. Now, I don't know. We weren't at the... I mean, where where were we, though? You know? Like, what was the setting? We built the map... And we came in, was it inside a building or was it outside? Was it like we were walking around the town? Let's read the resolution. Okay. Rays of faded sunlight stream through the haze and the unnatural mist finally recedes. As it does, Hangman's Hill returns to its original state. No other spiteful ghosts emerge to haunt you and the witches who summoned them have retreated into the shadows once more. You hope that you've done enough to prevent the rest of Arkham to succumbing to this horror. Right, so we were kind of in, in, the, in the outdoors. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That makes sense. Yeah. And then there was a mist, and the heretics were there, and then everything I, turned spectral. And I think we had to record. Can you pull up the last notes in the campaign log? You know, I can. As long as you talk to me with that sweet microphone. I'll keep talking. What do you need? So, from what Wisp I can... of spectral mist was a memento that we, we gained. Did we write heretic X number of heretics were unleashed under Arkham? No. So that's not the resolution we wrote. Two heretics were released. Yeah, that, that's right. That's right. I said no. And it, the okay, so two, is two yes. heretics were unleashed into Arkham. I have released. Is released and unleashed the did same? Did we have the wisp of spectral mist? We did. Okay. I think released and unleashed are probably the same thing. Right. Uh, so this is what we did. And then we gained victory. Yeah, that's right. So we say, we put two to rest and two are out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're causing problems. As right. heretics are, are one. Let's read for the greater good. You ready? Yeah. Scenario... V, which is also five in Roman numerals. Thank you. Ever since, you, ever since your brush with death at Hangman's Hill, the situation in Arkham has only worsened. In the days since, there have been more reports of ghost sightings and even several more disappearances. A thin layer of gray mist lingers over the streets at all hours, day and night. As soon as the sun begins to set each evening, doors are shut and locked. Without truly realizing why, very few people dare venture out at night. Some businesses have even closed their doors to customers during the day, citing poor weather things are getting out of hand hmm check the campaign log if the investigators are members of the lodge we are did we, we are. join them yeah 
Proceed to page 124. Get 20 experience. <laughs> yes. The creature that appeared at the Lodge's charity gala is clearly not bound to Joseph Miger's manor, which means the horrors you've experienced could be just the start of something much worse. It is time to report your findings to the Silver Twilight Lodge. Perhaps they can help interpret the knowledge you've gathered and inform you as to what your next step should be. With their help, you may be able to save Arkham. Check the campaign line. If the investigators are deceiving the Lodge, yes. flip the book upside down and read the text below. Otherwise, skip to page 125. Whoa! You got to zoom in. Is it one of those we, things where you got to pull your? Uh, you got to see the image. That's just text. they call it an optical illusion. I think. It says uh, you may be able to save Arkham, though you suspect the lodge has other interests. The lodge clearly knows more about what is happening than they care to admit. There is a sinister purpose that lurks beneath the surface of the lodge, and you intend to discover what that purpose is. Does it tell you to turn the book back over? Or no. Are we stuck now? If we're stuck. <laughs> we've we've gotten to a point of the adventure that we... Uh... Do I go to the next page? Can you I think the book should still be upside down. Arkham will always tell you, you know. So the book's upside down, and then it just ends. But I assume what happens is normally we would go to this. Yeah. But I go over here. Because I get done with this, and where am I supposed to go? Yeah, maybe. I don't, you know, I don't know. What does it say? Check. What's the next thing? Check the campaign log. You flip it upside down. Otherwise, skip to page 125. Okay. So if we flipped it upside down, so then I assume I go to the next page. Yeah, so what did we do? What did we get? What, what, what did we get from that text? That seems important. Can you read that again? You're right, Jerome. Uh, so we basically say, we, with their help, we might be able to save Arkham, though I, we suspect the Lodge has other interests. The Lodge clearly knows more about what's happening that, than they care to admit. There's a sinister purpose that lurks beneath the surface of the lodge, and you intend to discover what that purpose is. Okay, sinister purpose. Okay, got it. Yeah, let's go to what one thirty-two then. Is that yeah, the? Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> set up. Great. Gather. I, I'll, I'm going to stop reading this over here because you want, you want your... We can go back to normal. Mm -hmm. right? This has been brought to you by Zach's voice. That's right. Gather all cards from the following encounter sets. So, have you help me here? We need these symbols. So I believe this is the greater good symbols. Let's open this pack up. Wow, it's like a hieroglyphics. It's almost like a hieroglyphics pizza. Picnic table looking thing. All right, so. What do I have here? What is this? Is this all the circle and done stuff? That's all the potential things that we would include. Okay. So we have the half-built city that looks like a beetle that you think it is. Yeah, it looks like a city, man. What's all this? Wow. Those are the tarot cards. Nice. Looking good. Okay, as you were. Let's do, what's this? What's this? What's this? So we need these symbols. Let's go to the table. Anybody else that uh, is ever needing to set this up? Sometimes it's helpful to see other people struggle through it. All right, so we definitely need this ancient evil stack. Of course. We need this arrow stack. Classic. And we don't need the obscuring fog stack, right? Yeah. No bacon triangles, no hyenas. No bacon triangles, man. No rats. Um, show me the other symbols here. So we have the beetle. I think it's probably in your side. Beetle, weird sideways arrows. Mm -hmm. Do we need the half moons? No. Uh, scaredy cats. No. Half beetle. Here we go. Beetle on his back. Evil passenger. This is a bad one. I don't like that one. And then arrows go in all directions. One, two. I don't have any arrows. So we need the arrows all directions, and do we have the like uh, weird door? That looks like a corset. I think that's the the dimensional door corset thing. It looks like a refrigerator door to me. Well, my refrigerator goes to another dimension. This is the other symbol we're after. Yeah, the the tri arrows. Now that should be that should be here. That doesn't that doesn't. I don't recognize that from the corset. But who am I? Just doing my best. Last three are corset. Yeah, so where's the where's the, the triple arrow come from? I don't have that. I don't have the triple arrow. Is it the the two mists that we didn't get? The two mists? The heretics? Oh, surely not. Well, hold on, maybe Arkham. Sometimes Arkham finds a way. 
Um, gather all the cards from For the Greater Good, City of Sins, Silver Twilight Lodge is that one. Where's Silver Twilight Lodge? That's got to be from... Uh... Oh, here they are. It's on the board. <laughs> Thank you, G. Asp and Retro Daniel Where and everybody that? else. It's right here. So we need you on the doors. There's a, this is a Corset card. Do we have all these, though? Everything but this one. This, this one, one should be Ancient Evils. Do we have yeah. that? That should be Cultus. Those are all Corset. I won't have them here. Not goat spawns either. Do you have the core set? This is why you gotta have one. All our stuff's over here. In the... Hold on. I get it. Core sets. Come to me. I will get you and build you. Core box. They're gonna be in that boy. Yeah. Okay. So we need tentacles. No. Riley. No. There's a locked door. Locked door. Locked door. Only two. Only two doors. That seems like a small amount of doors. And then weird cult stuff. This one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We did it. I think that's yeah. all. Do you know? One second. Yeah. Yeah. When I play Arkham, uh, Philip has the table all set when we show up. Pretty nice. Seems nice. <laughs> <laughs> are these are these corset symbols? Just for my edification. Spectre Watcher? No, these should be Circle Undone. Spectre Watcher is like the whole Circle Undone guy. We have to keep getting him out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. These are all circle. Okay. Check campaign log. If the investigators are members of the lodge, perform the following. We are. When constructing the act decked, decked, use act 1A, warm welcome. So, those are here. So, act 1A, warm welcome. So, I'm going to take the other act and put it here to the side. Put the versions of lodge gates, lobby, and lodge cellar with... We've been expecting you subtitle into play. So that's going to be in the stack. We've been expecting you. So. The chanting. Here it is. So what do we say? Lodge gates, lobby, and lodge cellar. Lodge cellar. The we've been expecting you version. Lobby, we've been expecting you. Lodge gates, we've been expecting. So the members only. Wait a second. Mm. Members only, because we are members. So yeah, we're members. That's, that's not we get into the secret doors and stuff. Search the gathered encounter sets for the following cards and remove them from the game. Okay. Three copies of Acolyte. Okay, it's going to be Cultist. One copy of Wizard of the Order. Done. Two copies of Knights, Knight of the Inner Circle. That seems like that would be here. Nope. Knight of the Inner Circle. Like, Knight? Yeah. That's in yours. That's in the main. Whatever the the scenario stack is. What's this called? For the greater blood? For the greater good? For the... That is not the stack we want. This is the stack we want. I do not want any goat spawns. My gosh. I still think about those goat spawns. What did we say? Knight, Knight of Inner Circle. One copy of Cell Keeper goes away. All right. Some creepy stuff going on in this lodge. So remove man. those from the game. Removed. So then set the following cards aside out of play. The Puzzle Box as Asset. Ooh. The Summoned Beast Enemy. Okay. The August Lindequist Lindqui Asset. Okay. August 31st. August used to be so cool. And the double-sided Nathan Wick. They're gone. Otherwise, perform the following. Uh, put the lodge, catacombs, and lounge into play. Catacombs and lounge. You mean to man the cards? 
We had a system. I read and Zach manned the cards. Now I'm doing it all. doing it all. So we, then we set one skull token, one hood token, one tablet token, and one tentacle token out of play. Good for us. Fr oh, wait, these should the be taken from the collection, not the bag. Ah. So I have to go get those. Got us again. Shuffle the remainder of the encounter cards to build the encounter deck. Okay, I'll start working on that. Okay. Counter cards, and counter cards, and counter cards, and counter cards, and counter cards. And what do I have from your stack? This is the key. Here's a bunch of cards. What about these other locations? Yeah, we'll figure it out. They definitely go, don't get shuffled in, though. I can tell you that. I'll let you uh, review and make sure you're <laughs> Takes two. Takes a village to build an Arkham board, let me tell you. Uh, okay, when constructing the eye, uh, from the game. Remove them from training them. Put the version of... Uh, <clears throat> Where's the infiltrating the infiltrating the thing? Did we do this? Is this successful? Somebody tell me. Warm welcome. Oh, we get a warm welcome because we're members. Of course. Uh, yeah. To the following cards. Puzzle box, yeah. From the following. Put the Lodge Catacombs and Lounge into play. Okay, Lodge Catacombs and Lounge into play. Then each investigator begins play at the Lodge Gates. Oh, okay, so I guess that's in play. Make sure we're on the right side here. Okay. Then set each other remaining location aside out of play. Library, vault, inner sanctum, and the two sanctum doorway locations. Okay, so these are out of play. We've got catacombs, lounge, and lodge gates. Now, Lobby and Lodge Cellar, what are you guys going to do? Were we told to remove you? Yes. Put the versions of Lodge Gates, Lobby, and Lodge Cellar with the We've Been Expecting You subtitle into play. Lodge Gates, Lobby, and Lodge Cellar. We've Been Expecting You. Okay. Into play. There they are. We've got them. Uh, remove the other versions of those from the game. And Lodge Catacombs and Lounge are coming in. Lounge into play. And then we start at the Lodge Gates. And then we're going to look at our suggested setup here. We're at the gates, though. We know that. Whee! Okay. Then we have... Uh, we set some tokens aside. You got them? Nice. Looks good. These tokens are keys. See keys on the next page. And then we'll shuffle here. Okay, we've been expecting you. So we should have Lodge Gates as high as we can. Whoa! Lodge Gates, here we go. Then we'll have the circle. <laughs> then we'll have the T. Put it in the T. Coming over here. And then we'll have the squiggle and the moon. Okay. So this connects here. Only to this one. In fact, because of that, let's do it better than the book. Let's get so that goes there, yeah. but then these two go here. Yeah, and it's like a... Yeah, I mean, I can... And then we can move in the square. So we got to get from the gates to the lobby, and then we can move around in here as we please, although these two don't go to each other. Yeah. So we'll kind of split the goalposts on that. All right, let's talk about keys, shall we? Uh, these keys are never placed in the chaos bag and don't act as traditional tokens. Eh. They can interplay via several different card effects and are usually placed on an enemy location or story asset. They can be acquired in one of three ways. If a location with a key on it has no clues, you can take control of a key with a fast ability. If an enemy with a key leaves play, whoever caused that enemy to leave play must grab the key. And if they leave play for some other reason, the key goes on the location. So we either kill it and take it, or it disappears and it's left in its location. Some card effects may allow investigators to take control of keys in other ways, so just be ready for that. When an investigator takes control of a key, place it on their investigator card. If an investigator who controls more than one key, place each of those keys on the location as a uh, ability. You can give any number of keys to another investigator. So we have to spend an action to pass keys between us. Otherwise, if we die, then they all pop out at our location. Cool. Worth noting on the Lodge Catacombs locked side, we can't enter it unless we have one of those keys. Makes sense. You got you can't let people get in your catacombs. Correct. Okay. 
That's where I store the wine. Uh, and then that's it. When the game is complete, then we're out of here. And I'll read the action engine in a second. It's worth noting for the greater good on easy slash standard, the skull is worth minus X, where X is the highest number of doom on a cultist in play. Thank you much. The hood is minus two, reveal another token. Okay. And the tablet is minus three, you fail, place a doom on the nearest cultist. No tablets, right? I don't think we have any tablets. I don't know. And the gas mask is minus three, you fail, move a doom from the nearest cultist to the current agenda. Okay. So really three is our number again. Yeah. And then technically, I think we're supposed to do our opening hand before we read these. Yeah, let's do it. And I'm going to shuffle like this so I can remember what I upgraded to. I think I put the experienced uh, cigarette case in. Yep, two of those. Three experienced cigarette case. A very well-experienced cigarette case. I'm an experienced smoker, you know. Then I have two of the two experienced Mauser C96s. That was another big upgrade for me. Oh, yeah. So you're bringing more firepower these days. Mm-hmm. And I have the two copies of the three experienced copycat. Because you have that crazy rain or, sh rain or snow nor shine yeah. nor love. And also the upgraded, uh, whatever you call that one. Appreciate that, Terry. Unexpected courage. Okay. Mm We've got this shuffled up nicely. Not, not, a big, uh, not a big encounter deck here. But, but ominous. Let's just say ominous. There's uh there's something really nice, honestly, about finishing out the week with Freaky Friday every week. Yeah. I I enjoy starting and finishing the week on the cooperative games. I also like going into my weekend having encountered some sort of demonic evil. Yeah. That means your weekend's probably gonna be chill in comparison. That's right. Nothing on the line. We got a wave in. Bryce can't hear us, that's not good. For some reason it muted, yeah. You can hear me now. Yeah, good. Okay. All good. We got the setup, we got this going, we got this and this. Don't get confused by the map. We've got Stella on the board. <laughs> Curse signed uh, saying, hey, no cocktail today? Yeah, I only have so many computers. Yeah, <laughs> unless, we, uh, unless we get a wild here. I've got mental, you've got physical. Let's get, these tokens are looking good today. Is this a new set or something? No, there's just norms. Just something in the room, I guess. Hey, we got this big monitor. You guys should really try watching this on a giant screen. It's pretty cool. Also, it's a little slanted. I like your added fastidiousness these days. Certain things bother me. Yeah, I like to really uh, get into that. Right. It makes me let me read these. Appreciate. Oh wait, let's let's shuffle up and draw first. You more. Terry Fuller says, that might be the brightest shirt Steven has ever worn. Something must be going on. Terry, I've worn it many times. Must be uh, new to Freaky Friday here, Terry. I think you're, uh, Would you you're, look revealing, at that? you're revealing the realities here. All right. I drew a weakness, so I get to replace that immediately. There's that leather jacket. I might be keeping it because I have nothing else to do with it. Why don't you play it for once? That's what I'm saying. See how it feels. Makes Lonnie playable. Yeah, that mechanic that heals it and does other stuff. I mean, is that a pilfer? It is a pilfer. You got you to keep pilfer. I think I'm going to keep pilfer in a jacket just in case, but I want to pitch everything else because I, I need to see Lucky Cigarette Case more than anything. Yeah. Opportunist is not bad. Either. Ooh, I'm Lonnie in a jacket. The, the hey, game's kind of telling me where this yeah, is this going. This is a different. And the Mauser, you're a fighter this I game. I mean, the game is telling me you what's got plus up. Plus one coming in. For, you got the leather jacket. You're, you're cool. You're the cool lodge member now. That's right. I walk in with a jacket. Yeah. In the pocket, I got the gun. Lonnie just hanging out with us. I guess they're okay with that. What up, Jose? Yeah, we just, we're just now starting. Good time to be joining. Absolutely. Okay, so here we go. Ha, 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 ha. These are all good cards. However, there aren't any really bad cards, are there? Great, great. Depends on the deck. So I'm going to be going, uh, I, we've kind of become investigators. And oh, there's my upgraded Derringer. Now I said, see, you remember this? Last time I said uh, I wanted to, to upgrade one Derringer just in the off chance that you draw it early. It can be a great asset. So and I'm you sure did. That. Hey, this is a really nice comment uh, from, I think it's Chris, Chris, Chris and Ed. Uh, wanted to thank you guys. I watched your first video on Marvel Champions. I think it, in, in parentheses says, uh, in a hotel room with a developer. It was. It was in retrospect, not, not, I mean, it was, it was good for the moment. 
it wasn't good for what we're doing now. For the long term. Now we're now we're in it. He says, I understand the game now and I want to play. Thank you guys so much from France. Keep up this refreshing show. Well, we're happy to Fantastic. have you here and we will keep doing it Ooh. as long as everyone out there keeps keep supporting us. We appreciate it. Uh we we, we so we we're gonna... Oh granny or <laughs> we don't Oh granny. granny. We don't have a lot of money, so that's gonna be a problem for me, but I did go Black Book, Key Ring, Raven. Which not only gives me the creepiest start that I can do in this deck, but also a very heavy clue-based start here. That's awesome. I love this. Terry Fuller saying, uh, what are you guys talking about? I'm an OG Team Covenanteer. I saw Steven in a spoiled video from the kitchen table rocking a white person fro. You're not wrong. Hey, well, thanks. You've been here forever, Terry. You sure that you've seen this shirt before, right? You've seen a lot. You've seen more than this shirt if you've been around for that long. Let me tell you. Okay, let's go. Um... Gonna... Corona's saying, off topic, will you guys be doing Ashes before the next release? Absolutely. It's on the schedule. I, Steve and I still need to talk about the schedule, but it's currently on my schedule for next week. Sounds good. I approve of this message. And Brew Kiki Kiwi saying, the Eric Lang podcast was fantastic. Great. Thank great, you. We, Eric's always a fascinating cast guest. called The Covenant Cast. We had Eric Lang, who's a prolific designer in the space, on last week, which was great. Are you ready for me to read the agenda in the act? Yep. The agenda. The Hiri, Hiri, Hierophant, number five. This is the fifth. Uh... Anyways, this is the creepy text. You ready? Adapt your beliefs and be open to new truth. You're expected to conform. Do not stray from the path. Okay, conform. So yeah, act like we're in the lodge and everything will be fine. Forest. when you defeat a silver twilight enemy, you leave behind some evidence of the scuffle. Move one doom from each enemy at that location to the current agenda. Mm. No one's here to fight. Honestly, I think we're going to be evading. I think we're going to be evading everybody. Maybe well, don't even play the guns. Warm welcome. You have arrived at the Lodge's Manor in French Hill to see if they can help you piece together the evidence you've collected. Perhaps you can even speak with the president of the Lodge again. But as you approach the Manor, you begin to wonder if this was a test of your loyalty all along. Well, I'm honestly, I'm just going all in at this point. I'm going. I'm. I'm. I'm not worried about. But I don't know what's in the air. Side note, but the comments that are coming COVID-19. through are, are well, apparently it is in the air. <laughs> uh, but apparently, the the there's a there's a appreciation in the air. This is a f- phenomenal con- comment from Annie. She says, "Hey TC, all the way from the UK. I discovered you guys at the beginning of lockdown. I've been watching religiously ever since. Fantastic. Thanks for the uh, thanks for making the whole pandemic so much more manageable with your wonderful personalities and gameplay. I always look forward to your streams. Thank you so much, Annie. Thank you, Annie. Thanks for being I've here. I've never been told I have a wonderful personality. <laughs> not once in my I've life. I've never said it. Honestly, not once in my life. It, it, we need to tell each other that more often, don't you think? Like, you have just, a good personality. Just like, hey, I've I've been telling you that conversation was enjoyable." Just in case you're doubting it. Like actually expressing what we think and feel more yeah. often. Yeah, it's like, hey, I like yeah. that shirt. That's like the next layer of a Black's a good color on you, Zach. Uh, well, that's the only color. <laughs> the, what was it? Oh, I, I've been telling you lately that sometimes I'll randomly put a stream on just to see uh, how the video and audio looks. and mm-hmm. whatever. Or like if we're playing a game, we don't play Crash Protocol being one. That we don't play a lot, but we play just enough to forget what we learned last time. Yeah. I'll put it on just to remember what I, I thought I learned. And that I comment that you're funnier than I give you credit for. <laughs> Because when we're live, I'm only half paying attention. There's three things that. going on. You There's did chat, say that. Very nice. the game, and you. Uh, but then when I just focused on what's going on, when I'm watching it, it's like, oh, you're constantly just hitting funny things. Uh, well, I'm just trying to crack you. Yeah, and I'm just serious. <laughs> like, let's get through this game. That's how That's how the best teams work, really, isn't it? That's how the best <laughs> relationships Theotog. work. I'm telling you, there's a weird era right now. He says, personally, I'm just here for the good looks. Oh, well. Appreciate it. Yeah, good, good, good. Uh, where are they? <laughs> Ru Kiki Kiwi says, you guys have gotten so funny and quippy while you play since the beginning uh, when you were streaming five days. It makes watching you even more fun. I do feel like we've gotten better at it. At I feel managing like we've everything. More com- just more comfortable. Yeah. Just All more right. comfortable. All right, you ready to do this? We yeah. need six clues. We're at the lodge. Can you read me that flavor text? As you approach the gates of the lodge's manor in French Hill, you're surprised to see several automobiles parked nearby in the street. Light shines in several of the windows of the manor. Is there a gathering of some sort here tonight? Or are these cars just abandoned, essentially? Uh, lodge gates, we've been expecting you. Enemies cannot spawn at the lodge gates. Resign. On second thought, maybe coming here was a bad idea. You just want to get out of here? Well, Go maybe, home for the weekend? Maybe it was a hey, bad is, idea. Everyone watching, uh, how's the brightness? I feel like the shot in the corner is way brighter than the table. 
I did turn down the table a little bit, but it depends on where you're looking. Turn down for what? Like the mon <laughs> the monitor. You know, you don't want to blow it up. Hold on, let's let's go a little bit higher. Every time I say higher, I always make that like surfer. David noise. Whitfield, that's good political co political uh, comedy there. Uh, this one. Ah. That that that, that matches better. Solve the problem. Rukiki Kiwi, I'm gonna call you Brack. Uh, the corner is brighter, but he thinks it's fine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Fat guy, too. You're awesome. I never, <laughs> I never watch any of your stuff. Definitely not even games I don't play just to watch the banter and chat. Never heard of you. Never purchased from you. For real. <laughs> but yeah, here you are, Ross Shepard, uh, saying, I still can't believe how few people watch TC considering how great the streams are. Well, hey, we appreciate you being here and the kind, kind yeah, words. Yeah, would you tell him to watch us already? Come on. Let's get him, let's get him, let's get it going. Can't we, let's be the, can, can you guys propel us to, to be the greatest influencers on earth yet? <laughs> Have we not put in the time? <laughs> Influence. Where's... Yeah. This is oh, all sarcasm. PewDiePie getting a million a million views for, for what? For being beauty. Playing some video games? This is much harder than a video game. Tigger says he hears the FBI is watching us. There's cardboard. Ross says he's trying. We well, appreciate thank you, it. Ross. Yes, I'd okay. say that all in jest. So, enemies can't spawn at the lodge gates, and we can resign. So we can just hang out here forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you want to? Or we could leave. Six clues. We could build here without worrying about enemies. That's right. Alex has got her. Smash that like button. Ring that bell. Add us Hit to the your button favorite. Here or bookmark here it. Or put favorite. our number in your phone. Uh, Whitelist the email. I got you a gift. It's a raise. No oh, thanks. I do need the money. And then a game raise. Three. Pay him. One. One. Well. I love doing this. I do this at the start of every game, and I love it. So here's here's what I'm saying. Bill's master is a good point. He says you guys need a cuter nickname if you want to compete with PewDiePie. Yeah, hundred percent. Zach, Zachy, Steve, Stevie, Zach. Um, what are you thinking? I'm gonna play the things that I want to do is I want to play this black book, I want to play this key ring, and I want to play this raven. So that's exactly what you're gonna do. It just so happens to be five, but if if this is my my first plan, and now if there's gonna be a location that reveals itself. That might change, you know, based on what are you going to do? I think we build. Okay. I wish I had my cigarette case because we're outside. You can so always draw. Different. I mean, drawing is building. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> we didn't build these decks, so we actually might have to draw sometimes. Because your draw engine is the cigarette case, which you need. My draw engine is the rabbit's foot. Those things are critical for us to succeed. Well, my draw engine is also just committing cards to filter with yeah. money. Um, but I... I... I declare bankruptcy. Bankruptcy. Now, I also kind of want to take a test because, the, you know, I get an extra action. But are you willing to risk going into another room to do it? I feel like once we go into the lobby, there is no going back. Mm -hmm. they, they've been waiting for us. I would like to walk in with an old key ring, a weird book, and a raven, and a raven on, on your shoulder. shoulder. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it's, cool. it basically writes itself, it's right? Pretty cool, yeah. So here's what I think I want to do. I want to play Lonnie to give me some... She gives my... Plus one physical that just yep. straight up. Just in case you need to roll in there punching. But literally, it's Lonnie, which is four. And then I'm looking at money, money. Oof. So next round, I'll have four money at the start of the round. Mm -hmm. And then I can play. I might draw one card. Uh, I can. I want to be able to have Lonnie and my Mauser out mm. when I walk into the room. But it told us not to kill the cultists. I'm not saying I want to. What I'm happened just, to that leather jacket you said you were going to play? It's a You're classic. still not playing the leather jacket. No, I'm jacket. holding it because I got Lonnie. And I actually will probably end up, but it's fast. It's I don't fast. Have to play. You don't have to play. That's the beautiful thing. So here's the thing. I can whip that jacket. You didn't even know it was there. Yeah. Bam. Oh! Um, He's dressed. But basically, it's the age-old wisdom, which is it's better to have a gun and not need it mm -hmm. than need a gun mm -hmm. and not have it. That's true. True. I've lived my entire life by yeah. that principle. Just kidding. <laughs> I got that 22 out on the uh, last year for uh, birthday. Getting, that was my first for the land. 
Well, you know, I do need to, I, I do need to really sink into uh, being a lot weirder since I'm going to be in the country. Um, Don't think too far. Well, I grew up in the country. I was plenty weird, and then I got normalized a little bit with, uh, you know, the big city living. So now I need to go out there, uh, buy some guns, big old Tulsa uh, city shoot at airplanes, that kind of By stuff. By a lot of people's okay. standards, we're still in the country when we live in Tulsa. Yeah, the biggest little town on earth. Like when you go to what New York. Say. L.A., Chicago, they're like, ah, you basically do live in the country. Yeah, well, they don't know what country is. I'm about to live in a shipping container. So, I'm going to play along. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to do that first. What if it's a weakness? Like What's the weakness? worst weakness that it could be? It doesn't. My weaknesses are fine. You remember I had arrogance for like all 12 years? Yeah, in fact, it actually makes you better somehow. Yeah. yeah. Like all, like all gonna, people, gonna, arrogance makes you better. All right. It did not make me worse, but it's not anything I would play yet. It's a great card to have, though. Opportunist. That is a great card. So then I'm going to play Lonnie for four. Yeah. And I'm going to gain one money. Mm. And now it's your turn. Hmm. Because I'm just prepping. All right, I'm going to drop. Here's the Raven. Here's the key ring. David Here's Anderson the black book. says, Chicago rep here. I always thought you lived in the country. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, technically, yeah. Technically, I do. Tulsa's a small town. It is. It's small. I've got amenities. I can go pay $20 for a cocktail. That's not the country. What up, Shane? Thank you. Uh, key ring, black book, mysterious raven. Now, I love how creepy Stella has gotten over the course of this game. I mean, it's like the uh, innocent character that has a dark side that you don't get. And this is like... It gets you get to creepy. like role play yeah. it almost, you know, the, yeah. kind of the, the decay, moral decay. All right. No enemies. No enemies. Doom no. on? Yeah, doom on. Well, not yet. We get to draw a card. Mm. We get some money. Give me that cigarette case. Oh, it's a permanent. Case. Of course. Yeah. It, it, this was supposed to be out. Quick learning. What's Shuffle it oh, in. Yeah. yeah, what's it do? Uh, it's the first action's plus one difficulty, and everything after the third and beyond is minus one difficulty. Okay. So cool, typically cool, your cool. third and fourth are minus one, which is nice. Okay, then Dumon. Dumon. Yeah. Gain one. Then I'll draw a card. Dumon. Did you gain your money? Gain your money. Gain yeah. your money, gain your card. Gain my card. All right, top of the round. Then Dumont. we do Dumont, and then yeah. Dumont. I just like to see the framework, you know. I appreciate it. Expulsion. Framework. If there are no coldest enemies in play, Expulsion gains Surge. Well, that's a little hint. So what does it do, though? Let's prepare for the worst here. The nearest coldest enemy readies, moves until it reaches you, engages you, makes an immediate attack, and then each enemy, or each key is stolen. Say that again? Cultist, the nearest cultist runs to us, attacks us, and steals all our keys. Oh, great. So just be aware that can happen if we're ever making a plan. We can get exposed. Lodge Neophyte. Spawn any empty location. He's aloof. Forced, after he enters play, place a Doom on him. We can parlay with him. Test two brain. If you succeed, remove all Doom from him. Does he only get a Doom when he comes into play? Yes. Doesn't gather Doom except Not... by encounter cards. No, but there's things that... that... We saw, mm -hmm. I forgot how it happens, but they moved here somehow. And that Lodge Neophyte, if you had no drawn that uh, that card, the one we just did, what was that one called? Expulsion? Yeah. If you had joined that, uh, done, done that, then you, know, you would have been. He would ready move. Take care, Terry Fuller. It's great to see you. Have a great weekend. Until it reaches us, engage us, and make an immediate attack. Then place each key on him. Yeah, so we don't want that. So just be aware that the neophyte could run in and take the keys from us. But he has it. So what we really want to do, though, he enters play with a doom. A doom. Mm -hmm. What we want to do is parlay it off and then defeat him. Because when we defeat him... We're not supposed to kill the lodge people. When we defeat him, the doom us. moves over here. But if we take the doom off first... We don't want to defeat him at all. He's aloof. I'm just going to parlay him. He but can hang that out. card would make him attack us. Well, you know, he, but that's just maybe only all one right, of do you those. want him here? Yeah, he right, in the, right in the lobby. Him. Right in the lobby. Lobby bar. All right, what's your bad card? Knight of the Inner Circle. Is this supposed to be in here? Didn't it say to remove them? Is there one over in your remove pile? Yeah, I think so. Lance says, jumping on just to say, my Ant-Man and Arkham novel subs arrived in Washington State this morning. Awesome. That's uh, Thank Robert Washington for that Washington State is super far away. Ops. Completely. Not yeah. even just Rob. That's 100%. mostly that's Robert and Rafe. But management um, is, you know, how everything succeeds. So we always have to say... Jan Saint Knight was supposed to be removed. We had one job. Well, we have one removed. Is all of them removed? Let's take a look. We're going to the book. Back to the book. And saying that I seem very Zoe today. You will What's that do mean? what I Speaking say. Speaking of Zoe, the community design Back cards of this book. week 
Uh, one was an upgraded guard dog that is phenomenal for Zoe. Two copies of the night. Water Lily saying all of them should yeah. have been removed. All of okay. them removed. Well, here's oh. your second. Did we shuffle? You shuffled those, right? Yeah, I shuffled okay. that. Ancient Evils, one Doom on. The main? Mm-hmm. Ugh, that, that old beast. At least it wasn't at the worst time. That's right. All right. Uh, next, we just get a roll, right? We get to roll. So I think you should go first. Now, this is an easy test for me to do. So move, test, remove the Doom. Or fail and get in a free action. See, see what's in the lobby. Hopefully, Hopefully uh, it's a investigate, bar. fail, and then investigate, succeed, maybe something like that. No real stakes here. No real stakes. I'm you want to go exploring? Yeah, let's go. First action, we're going to move to the lobby. You want to read me a weave me a tale? The, the guards step aside and allow you to enter the lobby. Mr. Sanford has been expecting you. One of them says cryptically. It's not very cryptic. Uh, well, I guess it's cryptic. But the way in which he approached those words was, oh, he's been expecting you. Mm. I hope he likes my raven. The interior of the mansion is clean and well kept, as you would expect from Arkham's most prestigious social club. Plaques, pictures, and other trinkets adorn the wooden walls, hinting at the lodge's long and storied history. Lobby flipped. Oh, wait, we were wrong. We did that poorly. So the lodge is guarded. You cannot enter the lobby. No, wait, we're supposed to be here. No, wait, no. We have to gain parlay. The guards recognize you from the migrant and let you pass by. Okay, so the first action, parlay. The guards recognize you from the migrant estate and let you pass. We can do that at the lodge gates. But then second action, do we have to move again? Reveal the lobby. Okay, so then my second action is move. Mm. Got to move in there. And then my third, and still no clues. My third action is going to be talking to this lodge neophyte. It's minus one difficulty, so it's a one. Jordan Hightower says, Stephen sporting that Rocco's Modern Life shirt, always a classy choice. It does remind me of Rocco's Modern Life. Yeah. Rocco's Did you see the Animaniacs are coming back? Yes. It looks phenomenal. It looks great. Pinky yeah. in the Brain, I quote literally pretty much every day. What's that Minus mean? two. Reveal another token. My wife would be like, what are we, what are we doing tonight? And it's like the same thing we do every night, Pinky. <laughs> Ah, minus four. You know what that means, though. You fail and get a free test. I fail and I get a free action. So then my fourth action, it's going to be this test again. It's a four to a one because of quick learner. Nailed it. Bye, Felicia. Consider it done. I just went in there and had a chat. I'm clearing the way for you to play your gun and walk in. All right, I'm going to play my Mauser. Mau. It's got five ammo. You going to shoot Greedo with that thing? Man, there's a... You want to use those, those gold holiday ones? Oh, man, people are not ready for that. Oh, they, we did them last year. Although these are all gold. We're taking a cue from Flesh and Blood that we're not... Oh, also, here's all of the holiday tokens. <laughs> Um, I'll use these. Yeah, we're taking a cue from Flesh and Blood. So the ones we did last year, we'll do gold silver, and then we'll mm. do gold gold this we, year. I thought these were just accidents. Are we actually doing these? I think we're going to do them, yeah. Because a lot of folks want more clues. If there's anything that people want, it's more clues. Because sometimes there are some scenarios of four players that's just like outrageous sometimes. Look at those. I'm going to have to buy them. I know. I know. That's okay. What, that's what we do in marketing, Zach. So I moused. Then I'm going to move here. And I think this way makes sense first, because that's locked. We want to get a key before I even waste time yeah. going that direction. You don't want to go to the cell. Plus, it's I feel like Winnie would head, head to the lounge. Yeah, that's, you want to see what's going on. All right. Uh, as you approach the staircase leading to the second floor of the mansion, you smell burning candle wax. It is quiet enough that you can hear the gentle crinkling of a page being turned. Well. Lounge. As you almost died. Wow. As you enter the warm lounge, you spot an elegantly dressed man reading by the fire. To your surprise, he pays you almost no heed whatsoever. Forced, after the lounge is revealed, put the set-aside vault and library locations into play. Hmm. Put the set-aside August Lindquist asset into play in the lounge. Place one random set-aside key on him. The vault and what else? Uh, vault and library. Vault and library. Did my chat freeze? I don't know, we're on the same chat. 
Walton Library in. And we're supposed Chat to Chat if you can hear this. Put a put a person in August. Okay, yeah. so those are the cards we need to add at your So at your he pleasure. goes here and then this is plus sign and the heart connect and they both connect back. Okay. Uh, the door of the vault is locked. You cannot enter the vault unless you control the gas mass. Okay. Great. Twitch working, YouTube working. And then August is supposed to be on elegant and elusive, yeah. Okay. All right, I'm going to grab a random key. He gets a key. Yeah. Well, that's fortunate. Right. So investigators at August's location spend four clues as a group. Parlay. Each investigator who spin a clue must take a damage or a horror. Remove August from the game and take control of the key. So we investigate the lounge, and then we plug it into August. And ideally, one of us does that. Yeah, ideally, one of us does that. OK. That's right. And then uh, there's further exploring to be done, library, vault, etc. So we're good. That was the end of your turn, right? That Play was... the gun, move, move. Yep. Okay. Any enemies they need to do anything? Nope. We've got an aloof enemy here that's not going to do anything. Everybody's going to ready. We're going to draw a card. We're going to gain a resource. Then we're going to go to the top of the round, add one doom, and draw one card apiece. Expulsion. If there are no cultless Oof. enemies in play, Otherwise, the nearest cultist enemy readies, moves one location at a time until it reaches you, engages you, and makes an immediate attack. Take one sanity. Until it reaches you. And makes an, uh, then place each key you control on that enemy. None. See, that was fine. There's no need to be worried about this guy. Now, Ancient evils. One doom on. If mm -hmm. I run from him, he's aloof again, right? After I'm unengaged. Yeah, as long as you unengage, yeah. Gasp says, time to kill that cultist. I don't think so. I mean, my thing is, he would just go to the discard pile. No, dude, it said, it literally told us at the top of the hour somewhere, it said, don't kill people. Also, we're members of this lodge. They're just, he's just weird. He's not, it's just like the guy at the party you get stuck talking to. Little sanity damage, move on. But if there aren't cultists on the table, then that card doesn't do anything to us. Well, that's right. Yeah, that's right. But where, where does it say it? Where did it say it? Here, look. Read the, read the prompts. You're expected to conform. Do not stray from the path. Okay? Sleep on that. Uh, perhaps you can even speak. As you approach the man, you're going to wonder, what's, what was the thing about how they put they put uh, Doom on the... Oh, this. When you defeat a silver twilight enemy, you leave behind some evidence of the scuffle. Move one Doom from each enemy at that location to the current agenda. So, I mean, maybe if there's no Doom on... You just, I think it would clear the doom because it doesn't matter if it gets discarded. So we're secret, we're, we're assassins. It's That's like right. A, it's like Hitman. <laughs> ha ha ha. Okay, yeah. I like that. All right, start shooting then. Uh, is it is it back to us already? Yeah, it's back to us. All right. So I think my plan is take a shot at this guy. I'm gonna start getting clues so I can get that key to get in this vault. Yeah. It, well, so you're gonna get all the clues. Is that right? Yeah, I think you should go do something else. So then I'll go move to the library, or I can go down to the cellar. I feel like I should move to the library. I need to get this key to get here, and we need to find a key to get... I assume you're going to be able to get a key here, right? Are you going to pilfer? I need four bucks. So how are you going to get those four clues? It's just two shrub. On a three? You don't understand who you're dealing with. And those tests are awful. So I'm going to be doing a two, three myself on a one shroud. So I'll be three to one. And I can get a free clue from the raven. I think I should go to the cellar. You want to do that first? Yeah, you just do your thing over there. All right. First action, cellar. Several locked windows along the basement level of the manor reveal the dark cellar within. Two clues here. That's nice. After the lodge cellar is revealed, place one random set aside key on it. First action was move. Second action, how do you get the key? Uh, once this is all done, you can grab it. Once it's uh, investigated. Okay, easy enough. Second action, let's investigate. Um, I'm not going to use the old key ring because I this is kind of a free test for me because I can. Time to fail. I'm going to grab one with the raven because I need to get granny in play at some point. So I'm at three or three. 
Oh, baby. He dunked on it. And then third action, why not take another crack at it, huh? If you fail, you get an action. How about a superstar? No, you could fail. I could fail to heal a damage and a horror. So I could heal a horror, take the test again. It'll be at a two shroud to a three. I think I, t I think I take the, I think I take the clue. The sure thing, yeah, sure. Yeah, I agree. Hmm. Or do See you I? figure? Minus one, minus one horror. By the way, chat is can't believe the fortune of our keys that we drew. It's like me getting this one by this door, and you getting that one particularly. Apparently, is, is this that... one a good one to have? Apparently. Oh, that's good. Huh. I maybe take the action, heal the horror, Raven for the clue. Although I feel like a free clue at like a four shroud would be really where it's yeah, at. I think you just take it. You'll eventually you'll get to heal that at some point. Oh yeah, that's never been the case before. Okay, taking the clue. Gimmicker wants to know a uh, quick question. My group is finishing up Carcosa this weekend. We've also finished Dunwich. Do you recommend continuing the cycles in sequence, or is there a cycle you'd recommend we do next? If you have the packs, I don't know why you wouldn't do them in sequence. Mm. No, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to have this superstar fail. I'm going to heal this horror. I'm going to discard this raven to grab this clue. And I'm going to draw a card as my fourth action. OK. I'm into it. And do you get the key automatically? Yeah. I can take a fast action to grab it. Mine? Now, if I don't grab it, then you can't lose it. Then I can't lose it. So why grab it, right? That's where I'm at. I feel like that's going to backfire on me almost immediately, but go ahead. All right. I First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spend one of my Mauser shots. I play purple, says, are the Dream Eater boards going to be purple? Yes. They, oh, you can't really see them. Here, I'll, I'll do this. They're going to be purple. And they look different in person. There's a this is obviously a circle and done design, but this is the the color, the material. Woo! And it, it changes crazily based on your light source. The fluorescents make it super purple. These yellow lights, obviously, that we have less so. Does someone say in the Raven makes you take a horror? Is that right? Yep. Oh, well. Heal a horror and in... fine, fine. What is with this card? That makes no sense. I'm not, I can't, I cannot, I cannot do that. Crazy. So, so you just take the clue instead of fail. We're just going to take the clue and put a card back, the card back. It's a good card, but okay. that exchange doesn't make sense. Um, he's a three, I'm what, a four? Yeah, we'll use a Mauser. So I'm at plus two, plus one damage, plus one from Lonnie. So I'm at a six to a three, and I will put in... I don't even know if I do that. Because what does this get me back a resource now? Let's not do that. I'm not going to waste it. I'm just going to punch him. He's only got one health. Uh, I'm going to put in an opportunist and a daredevil. Mm. So I'm at two, three, six to three, plus I get a flip until I find a skill that'll go. But if you succeed with the mouse, you get your ammo back and you get a money. I get the ammo back? Don't you? No, he just readies. Uh, right on. Okay. Yeah. Do it again. Arrogance. Is it, it doesn't say non-weakness, does it? No, oh, it's a it's gotta be a rogue skill. Arrogance is not a rogue skill. <laughs> that works. Copycat. I got nothing. Nothing for you. Fine. Still fine. So I committed two. I'll draw a card now. Mm -hmm. Great. First card was nimble, but you can't do nimble on a... It wasn't a foot test, was it? No. Okay. So four, seven, eight to three. I'm going to head by five. Got it. So I'll punch him out. Uh, Opportunist will bounce back because I won by enough. And then... For my next action, let's investigate. 
with it's a two, I'm a three. Let's think about this. I'm you actually really that cultist. Man. Really did it. Yeah. <laughs> um let's actually do this differently now that I drew this card. I like that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to gain two money. Whoa. You'll Gross. See. It'll, eventually, it'll eventually pan out. All right. Uh, enemies, no enemies. Nope. Everything readies. Mm -hmm. Draw a card. Gain a resource. Cha-ching. Okay. And then we go to the top of the hour. One doom on. And let's go to the back cards. Mysteries of the Lodge. Place a doom on the nearest cultist enemy. There isn't one. Then, until the end of the round, increase the difficulty to fight, evade, or parlay with that enemy by two. If no doom is placed by this, again, search. Saw that coming. Keeper of Secrets. Any empty location, aloof, retaliate. It's uh, forced when the mythos phase ends. Place a doom on Keeper of Secrets. Action, book, test, three. If you succeed, remove all doom from Keeper of Secrets. It needs to go somewhere we can readily access it. And you need to be able to... Uh, Mythos phase ends. Put one Doom on him. So... Maybe I need to start killing. Yeah. Do you want me to put him over here? You know? Because that's where you're heading? Yeah. Put him in the catacombs. What's he doing down there? Keeping secrets. That's what. He is a keeping the secrets down there. All right. Now you're a bad card. Thank you. Call to order. Find the two topmost cultist enemies in the encounter discard pile. Spawn them in the empty location with the most remaining clues. Uh, Not empty. This is an em the empty location with the most remaining clues. Yeah. Couldn't it technically be any of them? I think so. Is that right? Is that right? Location with the most remaining clues. We don't know. We know this is zero. This is null. So what's the difference? Is zero bigger than... Than dash? Zero? I'm going to get some more water. You think? All zeros, apparently. According to someone. The internet. So we only get one from this? That's fantastic. Good. Okay, so one comes in. Let's send it down. Do we send it down to Zach here in the library? I feel like that's important. I feel like that's what needs to happen. Right? Is that what needs to happen? I think that's what needs to happen. It's probably best not to put something in the in the in the vault. I don't want to lock a Naj Neophyte in the vault. There's all sorts of things that are going to... You don't want to lock things in the vault. I think that's a fair, fair question. Okay, call to order resolved. Uh, this end of the Mythos phase gets a Doom, which is currently... And we're currently at 5, 6, 7, so we'll advance if we don't do something. So I probably need to move... Gun... Hmm. I just put him over here in the library. The library. Hmm. Doing two damage. That's a that's a question. I feel like his derringer should be fast. Okay, how do we go about doing this? Did you get one immediately? Yeah, at the end of the mythos phase which is at the end of the bad stuff. So... Here's what I think I'm going to do. Mm. I'm going to play my cigarette case. Now, hold on. We could put this neophyte here. Well, if you put him here, I can play the cigarette case, move to the library. Mm -hmm. Get him off the table. Doom would move, though. Mm. Ideally, we don't want that. Can you put it here and parlay with both of them? Move, parlay, parlay. You can try this guy first. 
Yeah, that seems good. It, it seems like a really good way for me to be uh, swamped. Dunk down? Because who knows what the catacomb's going to flip. Now, I could also put him here and move parlay play. And then you could come up here and go, you know, move, shoot, or punch. And then kind of maybe we trade places. Because like these four clues, how can you, are you building to the pilfer? Are so you the, about to pilfer it? Step one was lucky cigarette case. Because if I'm going to test a lot, I may as well be drawing a bunch of cards from it. That's right. So I was starting there. I drew that card and I was like, I need the money to play it. And then like, yeah. So, do you think you can drain those clues this turn? How many? How many can you get them all? <laughs> I mean, if I pilfer, I could. There you go. But why do I need to drain them now? Well, I'm thinking, like, um, I can come down here, parlay with this guy, and play the gun. That'll buy us one turn, assuming we don't, we don't hit Ancient Evils. Uh, but this guy's ever-present. So then, at that point... To not let the agenda advance, so this is going to need to get taken care of next turn, or we're going to advance. Well, if we want to, I, I don't know if I can ever clear that because I can't brain test for. Yeah, your brain not not so big. So that's where we could spawn here. Wait, maybe this is the best idea. Let's just parlay with. Hmm. He's. It's not empty, so we can't go there. Ah, oh, right on. Maybe the lobby. Lobby bar. That's a good question. If we go here, I can move, parlay, play a gun, move, move, parlay. I'm always one action short in this game. Uh -huh. what, is the, what is the issue here? I do think we need to kill this guy. Mm -hmm. I really do. But he, there's no way for you to parlay and kill him, right? Not this turn. No. And really, we should let this hang out because we should do one parlay to clear it all and then do that. We don't want to do a piecemeal. Should you put this guy here? You can move over, parlay, mm -hmm. move back. Mm -hmm. And then next round, he'll have two on him. So you can move down, parlay with him, clear him completely. But, but it's going to advance one. anyway. So Well, it won't. And this is only one, so I need to be able to have a gun out, move, parlay, shoot. So that wouldn't solve our problem. We're currently at seven dooms, so we need one of these dooms to be removed to not advance. Unless, again, we hit Ancient Evils. So, given that that's the case, this guy... Is just gonna have to be up here, I think. I think that's the only option for us to not advance. Or we could just um, advance it. Maybe we could just, I don't wanna let it advance. And we can also advance that thing with six clues. So, like, this is all gonna be nuts. I feel like getting into this vault is relevant. Well, it is. Puppy's going to advance. That's for sure. Move. Parlay. Move. Move. Gun. Parlay. Now, the, the only thing is if I draw a card that gives me a test that I can fail in the mythos phase, that does give me an out. So let's just see. Uh, let's put him there. Okay. And then I'm going to try to do the worst. Okay. I'll go ahead and go and see what happens. Okay. First move, second parlay. Parlay? It's going to fail. Ah. So minus two, minus one. So that's three. My stat is a four, so that's going to fail. Four minus three does not equal two. But I will get an extra action out of that. So third action. Let's parlay again. It's now a one difficulty. So four to one here. 
That's one. Yay. And then last action, I will go ahead and now I can either punch here, which might be reasonable. I've got a big old three uh, fist, or I can move. Three fist to two, it's not ideal. I think you leave him. I'm going to go ahead and move, yeah. Okay, just doing a little, uh, little light diplomatic work. All right, let's do this. I'm going to play a lucky cigarette case. And then I'm going to investigate. Uh, we'll commit two using my ability to draw a card. And then see if I can see. Got to get that case. Oh, that's the upgraded case, too. Is that level three? Yeah. Level, level three, three cigarette, cigarette case. case looking beautiful. So I'm at five to two. I succeed. Minus three. So I succeed. Exhaust it. And I succeed by, well, zero. You succeeded by zero. So I won't exhaust it. Case does not, does not happen. Uh... And then this goes away. And then I'll end with, this is really the money maker moment. So I think what I'll actually do is I can gain a money. I'll get my free money next this next round. Then I can pilfer. And okay. that's going to be fantastic. Because I'll clear all three of those clues. I'll get to search a lot of my cards with a cigarette case. And we'll be off to the races. Right on. So I'm going to gain in. more money. Then end of round. End of round. Everything readies. Uh, nothing magical happens. We draw a card, gain a resource. Nice. And then we go to the, to the bad stuff. Doom. Doom on, seven out of eight. Mark of the Order, Surge, Revelation, check which investigator controls each key. That investigator with, and then it shows the different keys, and none of us control a key. It would be, the skull is a damage, the hood is a horror. The tablet is it discards two random cards, and the gas mask is lose three resources. That's why you don't grab the keys. Locked door. Attached to the location with the most clues, and without <laughs> a locked door attached, the attached location cannot be investigated. <laughs> Test for physical to break the door, or for foot to pick the locks. If you do, discard this. Love it. That puts a problem in your plan. It's okay. A lodge jailer spawned at any sanctum location. There's only one. Uh-oh. Uh, afternoon display place two doom and one random set aside key. Give me a random set aside key, would you? Okay, so this is we're gonna advance here. Yeah, what do you got? Skull. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got the skull. And then test three to either take the key uh, or remove a doom. Now, there's nothing telling us not to remove all doom whenever the agenda advances, right? right? Okay. So that means that we have a free turn where we don't need to worry about Doom. We're just going to let it happen. We're going to let it happen. Yeah. OK. All right. Congratulations, Thomas. That's amazing. Roommate got home, got the mail, and now I have Ant-Man and Arkham. Yes. Nice. Subscriptions. Keep the love in the room. All right. Mine or ours? Ours. So I think I have to try to break this down or lockpick it. Break it down, pilfer it. Because I have a five foot. Let's see what my. And then grab the clue. Or grab the key. Technically, add a doom to the cultist. That's right. Okay, so the, the doom is, is happening. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to. You, you mind if I go? Don't mind. No. Let's do this. I'll commit two foots. I get to draw a card. I'm at seven to four. Godspeed. Yeah. Got it. Um, so I'll succeed. This will go away. I succeeded by three, so opportunist actually comes back. Mm -hmm. And I won't use my cigarette case yet. What? I think it's going to be better than that. Then I'm going to pilfer, which costs four. I add my, uh, use my foot instead of my book. Thought I added. You use your thing. cigarette case on that last one. Yeah, I use cigarette case. Sure. You got three, three cards. You crazy? Mm. Bury that weakness. So do that, and do I shuffle? Yeah, shuffle the remaining. Then I'm gonna pilfer. So I'm a five. Nice. Plus, I'm gonna add 
This is the can't fail moment. And it's foot instead of book. Do I use foot for adding cards as well? Mm -hmm. Okay. Opportunist. It's now a foot played. test. So I'm at seven to two. What could go wrong? And I get to draw a card for my ability. That would have been nice. Is it once is it once per or is it forever? Once per test? Oh wow. Yeah. Nailed it. I win by three, so opportunist is gonna bounce back. I'm gonna clear all three clues. Beautiful. I'm gonna have one action left. Break down the door. Pilfered. Pilfer. You can go ahead and do the the grab the key uh, while you got it. They might take it from you again. I think I'll wait. Yeah, you probably wait. Assuming you have something else to do that's worth doing. You're poor. Why do you where's all your money? I just pilfered it. Um why are you always so poor? I don't. It's about to get spicy in the catacombs. I just want you to know that this could be the worst thing I've I'm, ever. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Yeah, I do. Because this is about to flip, and I don't want that to get weird. So I'm gonna spend four. I get this key, and he gets removed from the game. And you take some some damage. I think. I take us one sanity damage. John Draper, shout out to you. Did a team covenant order at 1941 local time. Got a weep shipped your order at 1958. That service. That's right. It's happening right over there. Right, right beyond this wall. You obviously can't, you can't see, see it. But if you were looking from my perspective, you could see the wall. All right. Uh, what's the quote on August here? I got it. I don't really care what you're doing here, but perhaps we can make an arrangement. Elegant and elusive. Just like me. All right. Fast action. Take the key. First real action. Into the lodge catacombs. What's it say? When Lodge Catacombs is revealed, oh yeah, we should read the flavor here. A windowless steel door blocks your way into paths unknown. You get the feeling this basement is much larger than it appears. Well, we know that because they call it a catacombs, not a basement. So that's our first clue. Beyond the steel door, torchlit stone halls lead deeper underground. Compared to the polished wood upstairs, this area feels grimy and unclean. What the hell is this place? Four shroud. Zero clues. When it's revealed, put the set-aside inner sanctum and each set-aside sanctum doorway into play. So let's do a little bit of this action. A little reshuffle? I'm giving you some more space over there. Because... Yeah, like, actually, let's do this. Near the lobby? So this... Oh, yeah, you just want to go... We can just go sideways here. All right, so stars connect to the catacomb. So star, star, star. So basically the catacombs can branch... I can either come towards me or up here. Yeah, I don't know. Comes. And then, oh, yeah, I see why. Because you need the cultists to enter the inner sanctum, which maybe we should do straight away. All right, so first action, get into the lodge catacombs there through the cellar. Second action, I think I'm going to try to snipe this key. Hmm. That makes sense. So like parlay it. Yeah, just a three test if sure. I fail, you and then you can action. move into the inner sanctum. Uh huh. Now, I mean, there's a lot of good questions here. I can also take some sanity to to fail. Okay, now I've got a three to a three. That's unlikely to succeed. Correct. Which means I'm gonna take that test. And I'm going to apply take heart there. If I fail, I get two cards and two money. Seems like a good time. If to I do don't it. fail, you know what? It's okay. So three book. Here we go. Got a parlay with a lodge jailer here. Hey, it fails. Get an extra action. Get two cards. Get two money. Seems good. Yeah, I'm in the money from all these take take heart uh, tests. Third action is now minus one difficulty, and I have an additional action if I want it. You no, you do want it. Uh, I mean, part of it is if you go to the inner sanctum. I don't know what's going to happen when this agenda flips, but I don't think being in a room with enemies is probably. I got an extra action. Third action, get here. Fourth action, sanctum. Oh, that's right. All right. See if you easy peasy. Dunk this. <clears throat> Bring it home. 
a lot of different ways to do this is the thing. So it's a two book. I'm currently a three. That's only one up. Who needs skill when you can? Now I do. I I feel like. Do you have another cap, copycat in the deck? Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and commit my plus three rain or snow. So you're up by four. Up by four. With good, nope, no granny. Out. No granny. We're saving it for the raven. Success. Grab the key. Last action. Sanctum. What's it say? It says. The door to the inner sanctum is locked. You cannot enter it unless the control the key. I guess that's not what you cared about. At the end of the catacombs lies a set of iron doors adorned with the symbol of the Silver Twilight Lodge. Three arrows pointed upwards. Unsurprisingly, the doors are locked tight. However, not if you put a cultist in it. <laughs> inner sanctum. That looks like a scary room. Two clues. Four shroud. That's why we have the raven. And I'm just going to use that immediately just to let you know. After inner sanctum is revealed, place one random set-aside key on it. Boom. And then I'm going to use this. Quote the Raven. This card, take a sanity, get a free clue on a four shroud so that I can put Granny in next turn. And that's going to be it. End of the round. Let's see how we fare. What happens first? Everything readies? Everything readies. Enemy to enemy. But... We, we do the good stuff. No enemy stuff to worry about. Draw a card. I'm feeling a weakness coming on. Gain a resource. I'm too weak. <laughs> <laughs> Always gets me. Uh, okay, got a card, got all the good stuff. Add a doom, wipe everything. <laughs> Agenda 1B, meeting of minds. As you explore the building, you almost wander into a heated debate between several members of the lodge in a nearby hallway. Seeing an opportunity to learn more, you hide and eavesdrop on the conversation. I wasn't dropping no eaves, Mr. Gandalf. Mr. Sanford's orders are to complete the Geist trap at any cost, one of them says firmly. If that means we must put lives in danger, so be it. The good of the many outweigh the good of the few. Ah, you utilitarian, huh? Another member, Cheaty would have a lot to say. <laughs> Another member, a woman, pounds her fist on the wall. No, our first resort cannot be to spill blood. There must be another way. There is no time, the other responds, and there's a murmur of agreement among the rest. It is mm, clear you, you do not have the will to proceed. Take her away. We will make her see for herself the sacrifices that must be made for the greater good. No, you can't do this, the woman yells. You wince as her screams echo down the corridor. What are they planning to do? Discard the top five cards of the encounter deck in player order. Each investigator must draw a coldest enemy discarded this way. All right, top five. And then you get the first one, I get the second one. Or I guess we choose. Only one. All right, the neophyte. Lodge neophyte. It engages me? Is no. that what it said? No. It just says you draw it, right? There's... Yeah, I just draw it. There's so lodge members everywhere, so you got to put them in an empty uh, something or other. And it gets a doom on? Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to put them in the vault. Because yeah. that's where I'm going. Yeah, put it, put that. Now, I suggest that we not put anything in the vault just because you don't want something marinating in the vault. It's going to come out. Maybe I'll rescue you. him in the vault. Yeah, maybe so. He's locked up in there. Rescue him with All that right. Mauser. Agenda 2A, that's right. <laughs> so it's a, I'm not Zoe. Good of the I'm mini. not bringing him the Lord's Justice. <laughs> Good yeah. of the mini, man. All right, ends and means. Man, this is, they're really hitting on some beats right now. The Lodge will resort to drastic measures in order to achieve their goals. If you don't act quickly, blood will surely be shed. Each Silver Twilight enemy in a Sanctum location loses aloof. Did I not call it? Mm, that's beautiful, yes. Thank you. I, I'm stuck here now forever, but I appreciate But you're not I can play the gun. Pop, pop, pop. When you pop. defeat a Silver Twilight enemy, you leave behind evidence of the scuffle. Move, a do move one doom for each enemy at that location to the current agenda. Right on. Ten, and we're out. And that's it. And that's it. Ten rounds. We gotta, we gotta go deal with all these things now. Mm-hmm. Uh, then we do the bad cards. David Whitfield, does this mean the members of the Twilight Lodge are not the good guys? I'm shocked. <laughs> shocked, I say. The good cards? Yeah. yeah, hold on. Question. Did both purchase card five? That's a good question. Just got the top five cards in the encounter deck. Period. Then in player in order. In player order, each yeah. investigator now. Yeah. All right. Knight of the Outer Void. Ooh, gross. Is that supposed to be in the deck? Yeah, let's just make, you know, we just gotta, you know, we just gotta... <clears throat> I'm just going to make... Yep, you're good. 
Humanoid Cultist Silver Twilight. He's a 3-3-4. Aloof Peril. Does that mean I have to deal with this? Without your peril? Technically, yeah. yeah. Retaliate. Revelation. After Night of the Outer Void spawns, place either one or two Doom on it. Parlay. Test Brain or Book 4. If you succeed, take control of one Doom on the Night of... Wait. Take control of one Doom on Night of the Outer Void and flip it to its clue side. Nice. If you fail, Night of the Void attacks you. I have to spawn at any location connected to me. And... Now, is the ever-present Sanctum enemies lose... Yeah, okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm a, I'm interested in putting it... I feel like we're in a dog pile over here. I can't talk to you about this. It's your peril. So, I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put one Doom on. Does that have to be empty? No. Hmm, nice. Any location connected to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is for you. A Night of the Outer Void. Oh no. Has to be there. Oh no. But he oh he doesn't have a loof when he's there. You got a problem, Stella. Oh I do. I'm gonna be here for a while. Start blasting. <clears throat> Might need you to come on over to this side of the map. I'm literally going vault and then coming back your way. I just have to see what way. Yeah, you got it. You got to take a look there. Now we're just trying to get six clues. We're still in the warm welcome phase. This doesn't seem like a warm welcome at all. It's overly warm. Just in case anybody's out there wondering what a warm welcome looks like, this is not it. <laughs> this is not what we bargained for. Okay, so you want me to start? Let me just prod around in this vault. Yeah, prod prod the vault. We're going to the vault. Let's see if we can find some Disney movies. A heavy wooden door with an iron-barred window appears to lead into a small vault. It is sealed shut from prying eyes. The simple unadorned room contains many shelves and filing cabinets where important documents and records pertaining to the lodge are kept. A small combination safe hides in a corner of the room. You wonder what secrets you could uncover here if you had more time. Forced after the vault is revealed, place one random set-aside key on it. There are this none. I should have a doom on it. There are none. Two clues, one victory. Okay. Hey, that's victory. I'm not clearing it. I gotta come save you. No, uh, we went to the wrong sides. We did. That was my <laughs> side right there. I'd walk in that room. <laughs> Do you feel lucky? <laughs> Do you? Okay. So I moved here. I think I'm just coming back your direction. I mean, I could try to scoop these clues. How? How? Uh, what's your What's your four shroud scooper play look like? Because I, I can't imagine it's it's respectable. Yeah, you know, you know, you know. Now, what's the point of the keys that we haven't seen the point of yet? I mean, I'm sure there's these rooms we haven't gone into. Mm -hmm. We're going to need to kill everybody. Yeah, you're going to have to get your gun down, and we're going to have to yeah. get ready. So my plan is uh, try to get a clue and fail with take heart. Then draw weakness. And then get the actual clue with minus two with the key ring. Then play the gun. And I think that's it. So I think my... And then I'll get set up for the next... Uh... I'll get set up for the next thing. How quickly can you can you come to my aid? Can you get these? You can't. Can you do that? Test two and... I could. Pass it down? So test... Move, move. I already moved once. Oh no. Hmm. You know. Let's see. What's my? Let me let me look at what my damage is ultimately here. Plus two and plus one. If you fail, place an ammo, and the next time you trigger, okay. So, I've got six damage. I can move, shoot, shoot. So I'll probably lay out the Keeper, Lodge Jailer, and Night of the Outer Void going to do their thing. Hmm. Uh, I don't like it at all. I don't like this at all. I think I should definitely remove this Doom. Let's start there. Yeah, let's remove the Doom. All right. So I'm going to take a brain test. I'm a 1. Start making your way downtown here. I'm going to commit 7 to it. Mm. 
I get to draw a card. So, pretty wild. A seven, I'm an eight to a one. It's going to be an awesome cigarette case. I succeed by six. Mm -hmm. So, opportunities are going to come back to me. Then I can use this thing, but there's only I can only look at the cards. I don't get to shuffle. You say there. seven to a one? Eight to a one. Eight, seven, six to a one. So eight to a two. I win by eight. Eight he's, to a he's two. He's a two. I'm an eight. I win by six. Eight minus two is six. Six minus two is four. You win by four. Yeah, eight. I win by four. So I can look at the top four. There's only three. Are you doing the books? Are you doing the books at Covenant? Yeah, right. Can I believe anything you're doing? Luckily, there's spreadsheets. <laughs> <laughs> Take care of the purple. Bounce on. All right. And then this removes this. And then I'll move back here. Okay. So me. Time for me. It is your turn. First action. Investigate. Also, it was totally not worth me spending four clues to get into that room. No. But we didn't know. Fail. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to take heart that. That's the plan. All right, first action, investigate. Fail, as, as is customary. Draw two. Through the weakness. I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. Can you just get rid of it? Maybe. Because we're not in a rush to deal with this yet. Not. I'm not in a rush. Okay, so that was the first action. I get the free action now. I got the money and the stuff. Now we get to the real stuff. So three actions remaining. First action, rabbit's foot. Of the three. Second action, granny. And then third action, since I have the minus one difficulty, I think I'm going to go ahead and... Well, I might try to grab that clue in a, in a meaningful way at the start of the next turn. So, like, my play is... Four to three, I can win by two. Yeah, I have two rounds, so I can get over there and really help you. All right, I'm going to spend my last action to play the Derringer. Do I have enough hands for that? No, I'd have to drop, drop hands, so let's not do that yet. Let's use this old key ring first to get this last clue. It's a three difficulty, one difficulty. I think I'm at a four. I'll find out if I need to, which I might now. Minus two and a token. Hello. Oof. How bad is this gone? They can't quite see that, by the way. Let's take a look. Okay, since I have to calculate it, now I'm going to two, three, four, book test. Shroud is minus two, minus one for quick, quick learner. So it's a shroud of one to four. Minus three is a one, or minus two, and then minus three. So I'm zero to a one. And you can granny it up. Granny it up. It's that easy. Why is Arkham crying? Because granny out of one shroud is where it's at. Now, is that true, though? Is that after? If I would fail a skill test, exhaust to get plus one. I wonder, does it always zero out? So it was technically minus five to a four. So it goes to zero. I would fail. Then I get a yeah, plus she one. She right? plays after the failure. Right? It has to be. It has to be. That minus one doesn't, doesn't stick around. Uh, uh, any test at one with granny on the table means that you can pass it. I think that's right. Yeah. yeah. Which is, is very nice. Um, OK. We did it. I've got some clues. Hold on. Squaring her up. Okay. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. And then I've got, didn't play the gun, got the clue, got one. And so I'm going to have to overwrite that with the gun and then start getting things going. All right, that's the end of our turn. Enemies do enemy things? Enemies are going to do enemy things. That's right. And in fact, it would be ideal if like one of them ran to me right now. Yeah, so I could, I could put it in the... Well, we might get the, the card that makes it that. happen. All right. Flip it over. Flip it over. Flip enemies don't move. It. Nothing weird there. Uh, card and resource. Card and resource. There it is. Double weakness. That's the way I like to play. Just stack them up. I like to stack them. Stack, stack them deep. Something, something. 
All right, uh, then bad cards? Bad cards. Or Doom on? Yeah. Does he add one at some point? At the end of the mythos, yeah. Mysteries of the Lodge. Place a Doom on the nearest coldest enemy. Then until the end of the round, increase the difficulty to fight, evade, or parlay with that enemy by two. So... Uh, we can turn it into a clue. Or right. uh It'll be there forever. I'm probably gonna put it on this guy. Okay. I'm not gonna deal with it. You're eventually going to. Well, eventually is ten doom, and we're already past well, it. We're accelerating well beyond. I'm that. planning on clearing that. Okay, just killing it. Well, I'm gonna take it. And we then we need to get six clues and, and get something to happen. I'm gonna turn that into a clue. Okay. Te technically, if you move up, we can turn that into a clue as well. Mm-hmm. The the greatest dog pile on earth. But you also don't have to do that. I mean, it's at what two, three, four, five, six. So it's getting there. Okay, hit me with that. Mystery. Wait, is placed by this? Okay, yeah. So you didn't surge. You don't have to surge it. Ancient evils. How about we just up the clock a little bit here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you know, we found out some things, and then uh, you know, other things happened. All right. So I think I'm going to move. Attempt to parlay here to get this clue and then move, and I'm one location away from helping you. Mm-hmm. I guess the best thing I can do with my time. Yeah, and then this guy goes. Mm-hmm. Four, five, six, so we're at seven. Um, I think I might need to move up here, test to remove two doom, and then shoot this. I don't have the. I don't have the. The gun out yet. Yeah. Yep. That's a problem. Need that gun. Now I could just move. I could play the gun, move, flip this to a clue. God willing. I mean, I'm haunted. I, I got all sorts of things working against me, but. Uh, you get two shots at it. I think I can get this to a clue. And if you get that one to a clue, we can go ahead and push it to the next. Uh, we can push it to the next one. Okay. Do you want to go first? Which I feel like is is relevant. Yeah, sure. I'll go. Hey, first. But you're gonna take a couple punches. Right? I'll take so many punches. Yeah, we're in we're in that we're in the spirit of punch. Uh, first action. Who needs keys? And you've got a derringer. Three ammo on that. Mm -hmm. Second action, I'm going to go and fast action this key. Second action, up to the catacombs. So we're going to let this let this be a thing for me. Oof. And then third action, so I'll basically, I can take three and one. So I can take one sanity, put it all on Granny. Mm. I mean, I, I think that's... I think you kind of you probably wait and do that next turn, but taking four sanity right now is is a little too stressful for me. Well, luckily I'm gonna come down and help you next round. Mm-hmm. All right, third action parlay minus one difficulty. Mm-hmm. Minus one to my skills. Fail a skill test, take a horror. I don't want to do that. Plus one, plus one. So I'm currently at a three brain, four brain, five brain. Difficulty minus one, so four brain for haunted. Difficulty is three. So I'm currently four to three. Up by one with a granny in the wings. Four to three, up by one. He goes to the hoop. Uh, you think plus two is enough? I get another crack at it if it fails. But you take a horror if it fails? I take a horror if it fails. That's right. Well, do you feel lucky? I think so. Let's go up by two. We've got Granny. You're currently up by two. Mm -hmm. With a Granny. Yeah, you're you're fine. Up by two with a Granny. Anything but... Plus oh, one. yeah. I don't even need to think about the possibility. Why is Arkham crying? Okay. So we're, we're, we're barely getting by. Remove this Doom. Gain this clue. So move, did that. You have one action left? I played the gun, moved, did that. 
Okay, mine? Mm-hmm. Why is Haunted the worst possible weakness for this character? It just is. Moving here. So bad. We're going to test for book. Yeah. I'm at three. <laughs> cool story, man. <laughs> I'm going to add three and copycat your three. Oof. You need to add all three of those? I guess you get one back. Huh? Yeah. So I'll get this back and I get to draw a card. And this will shuffle immediately or when I need to draw? I think it shuffle immediately take sanity. Okay. Um, why did I take a sanity? Because you ran out of deck. Mm, I got it. Still new to this. Three, six, uh, and my three book is a nine to the four, so I'm ahead by five. Seems that's a good that's a good amount. Okay. Very good amount. You love to see it. Head by five, minus two, I win by three. Win by three. So that's enough for opportunities to fire. Don't you love it? Plus I get a cigarette case. Look at the top three. Mm. I put that in my mm. hand and shuffle this back. I don't know. Is there is there worse is there a worse weakness than haunted for a character that wants to fail? I'm sorry, I mean uh, a tick to phobia or whatever. Fail a skill test, take a horror. It's like but that's the whole point of the deck. This goes to the bottom of your deck. Thanks. Um, and then... Not the rain, no snow. And before I move, do you want to go ahead and advance warm welcome? Let's go. Yeah, we need, we need to see Spend what's up. Maybe those. they'll all be cool. That's what I'm advance, hoping you know. for. Maybe they'll be cool. Random. All right, this is Act 1B, the initiation. Ah, it's you. You're approached by a member of the Lodge whom you recognize, one of Carl Sanford's bodyguards from your previous meeting with the President. I regret to inform you that Mr. Sanford and the other members of the Lodge are busy with an important task at the moment. I would suggest you come back at a later time. The tell, you tell the man that your task is important and offer to help in return for a meeting with Mr. Sanford. He considers you for a moment, then nods. All right, we're attempting to open a device which we believe will help us bind the revenant you encountered earlier. You'll want to speak with Nathan Wick if you want to help. You can find him in the library upstairs. You thank him and turn to leave, but he grabs your arm and stops you, adding one final warning. You should know that we intend to open the de this device at any cost. If you cannot stomach the consequences, once again, I suggest you leave. If the library is not in play, put it into play. It is in play. Does Nathan come in? Spawn the set-aside Nathan Wick into me in the library. Master of Initiation, side face up. Attach the set-aside puzzle box story asset to him. Oh, this is tasty. Puzzle box says, uh, when you're defeated, give control to another investigator. Unlight, uh, I was I said brazier last time, which is a bra, right? It's a, not brazier, 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 brazier. Uh, exhaust the spectral watcher or deal five damage to the spectral watcher if it's exhausted. It does not provoke attack of opportunity. So this is the kind of thing where if we get this at the end of this scenario, I'm certain we'll get to put it in a deck, and then we can wreck the spectral watcher. So that's pretty tasty. All right. Act 2A, obtaining the device. Whatever the Lodge is planning, it involves a device that will do anything to, they will do anything to open. It seems a Lodge member by the name of Nathan Wick holds the device at the moment. One way or another, you have to get your hands on it. Objective, if Nathan Wick is added to the victory display by any means, choose an investigator to take control of the attached puzzle box and advance. Mm. New plan. Yeah, I think so. In fact, I, I may be able to... Uh... I may be able to handle all of this by myself if I didn't have these weaknesses particularly. But I'm just thinking like I can do clear two damage, or really I probably do two damage punch. Clear? Mm, don't want to clear that punch. Two damage, clear two damage. So your next two turns? That would be it, but like, you know, I'm, I'm going to fail. I'm going to take some... I'm gonna I think haunted. I've got to come help you if we want a chance at this. I could also just die. I mean, like, that, which is fine. That's what I mean. It's not that big of a deal. If you can get the puzzle box, I guess is the question. Yeah, but there's another act up here. The, I get think, the... We may be on life support here. Nah, we're, we're okay. I mean, the other option... For you, this is a really good option. If you can possibly evade these two, mm -hmm. you could move with him and take that damage. But then you're by himself, and he's not in this anymore. So mm -hmm. he gains aloof again. Yeah, he would gain aloof so again. So he'd still be engaged with you, but then you could evade him next round. Yeah, and I could also just go evade, evade, evade. 
But then you're in a room still. Yeah. So you, it just takes, I mean, if we just, if you want to do things, what else can you get into? The thing is, I could start heading this way to the library. Let's do that. I, I mean, let's do that. So, so my last action, I have one action left. I'm yeah. going to go to the lounge. Yeah. And because I'm just doing this, if you can actually just not die. That's what I'm, that's, that's the then next, we're, then that's we're the fine. Next, next plan. Don't die. Got it. I'm on it. Okay, is that the end of our stuff? Uh, I'm going to take a fast action and play my leather jacket. Oh, there it is. What's up? Because <clears throat> I have Reckless, so it would cost me. Welcome. Okay. Welcome to your doom. <laughs> end of the round? Yeah. Everything readies? Everything readies. Enemy's enemy? Enemy's enemy. So I'm going to do two to Granny, two and one to Granny, and then one and one to me. You already see me dunk on this Nathan Wick mental test? <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm gonna clear clear granny. Now I could also uh, let's keep her around actually. Yeah, just just get her close. Two granny. And I'll take two of both. So two and then two. Is that right? <laughs> Mikhail came in and said, How's the snare going so far? I wasn't able to catch it from the start because it worked. Two and two. Gasp says, There's hope, but we could also lose. It is true. It's very true, yeah. This is but very I, sketchy. I think in all great Arkham scenarios end in, in a way that you didn't think you were going to maybe make it, and then you maybe make it. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Uh, this ready is... You did all the enemy stuff? Uh-huh. Yeah, Resource and a card? the damage. <laughs> oh, perfect. Card. Um, Resource. Then Doom and bad cards? And does this, this cat get another Doom? Yeah. Yeah. I think we're out of Ancient Evils, though, so that's something. Centuries of Secrets. Test five brain. For each point you fail by, discard the top card of the encounter deck. If a cursed treachery card is discarded by its effect, deal a direct damage to your investigator and to each ally. What? Mm, yeah, Lonnie taking a damage. I, not hey, a I got deal. the leather jacket. That's not an ally, though. I know, but... And direct damage you can't. It, doesn't, it goes right mm, through your jacket. Okay. Right to your heart. So I'm just going to test five and lose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're going to clear out that deck. That's worth something, I think. Uh-oh. Highest number of doom on a cold. Three. My, I'm at zero. So I lose by five. If I discard five. Yeah, I think you're going to hit it. And then... Omen or something? If a curse, curse is discarded, deal a damage for... Deal one direct damage to each. Okay. Not a big deal. There's a curse. So I take one on both. One to you and one to Lonnie? Bummer. Call to order. Give me the two topmost cultists in the encounter discard pile. What are you doing with them? Putting them in an empty location with the most clues. All of them are the same. How many you got in there? One. Only one. All right, we're putting it in a sanctum doorway, I think. Yeah, just I just don't want. Comes in with a doom on. Now he will be aloof here, so maybe yeah, I, just put him yeah, in. Yeah, just put him in. Because you're gonna go up and deal with these doom tokens. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, that's what we're gonna work. do. That's exactly what we're gonna do. <clears throat> All right, our turn. Our turn. You want to see what you can do first? Anything you can do. Yes. I can do better. <laughs> hmm. So my first test is going to be a bad one. And I know that. It's a bad one, Mr. Grinch. I definitely just feel like I definitely feel like during your first action. Okay. You know, we've got we've got we've got something going here. Now I'm gonna I will take hmm. I think I'm gonna have to plow Plow through. Plow through all of these bad things. That's the only way. So first action, we're going to parlay to remove all doom from Keeper of Secrets. That is step one to our 12-step step step plan. One. And it's it's uh, not an ideal test, but I am at uh, two, three, four is my skill. Minus one for Haunted is three. So it was currently uh, three to three. 
plus one, so currently three to four. With Granny? Three to four with Granny. And if you fail, you go again. You know what? I think I'm just going to take that and take a horror. I think that's the only way that I have a way out of this. Three to four. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Mm, be aware. When you defeat a Silver Twilight enemy, you leave behind some evidence and move one Doom. Mm -hmm. So you, you could actually parlay. just shoot him. To just take the shot? If you shoot, evade, and then move and take the weakest thing. I'm honestly, I might just churn. So I'm, I'm, there's a world where I basically shoot, 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 shoot. well, I shoot, evade, evade, shoot, shoot, evade, or shoot, punch, evade, yeah. and then shoot, sh shoot, punch. It's like uh, playing Pa Rapper the Rapper. In the car. <laughs> so I could, you know, what's one doom worth? Is one doom worth one action? One I mean, turn. It, one turn worth one action, right? It's really what is taking one of those attacks worth. Because you can, if you can parlay the doom away and then shoot him off the board. Which should happen. And then evade a different enemy, you're taking one attack. Yeah. And then next round, you'll shoot, shoot, evade. Yeah. Which is but all also, good. But also, the next round, if you wanted, you could also evade, evade, and move and be done with it. Yeah, and just, and just escape. But then that sanctum doorway. I mean, I could also just like, whoop, pop down here. But we're now in the quest for the puzzle. I'm going to get right? it this round. Do you want me to go first and let's prove it? Sure, yeah, prove it. I don't think anything changes for me. All right, we're going to the library. A narrow windowless hallway slips upward from the lounge, leading you to a tall wooden door. Library, six shroud, two clues. While you are investigating the library, if you control the tablet key. I do. The library gets minus three shroud, victory one. So it's only a three shroud for those of us with the tablet key. But I'm going to parlay with old Mr. Wick. He's at a three brain to my one. Follow me. I'm down by two. He's down by two, ladies and gentlemen. Down by two, down by two, down by two. So I want to get up by five. So I want to get to seven. So I just need to add six. That's the that's the. So you're gonna parlay him twice, basically. Are we? Are you? Are you familiar with the, what this is going on? Is that what you're doing right now? Yes, I have to parlay twice. Okay. Can you? Yes. You can also start shooting. And that's not the plan. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna par ah! I'm gonna parlay, and I'm gonna add anything you can do better. And an opportunist, and of course I'm arrogant. Of course so it's the arrogance. Each other yeah, but I'm at seven to his three, uh, so I'm ahead by four. And I get a draw card. One thing we haven't seen: success. So I win by two. Uh oh, but opportunist is gone. Where did it go? Only by two. Six, these cancel out. So I'm a seven to a two. I by five. I went by three. Yeah. There it is. Um, so, opportunities will flip back. Cigarette case will let me look at the top three and grab one of these. And arrogance goes back in. Is that right? I think I'm grabbing that. Arrogance will go back in because I won. You got anything fancy over here? I got some some threes in there. Nope. Not, not currently. I don't? I already used it. And it goes back. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll you got some take hearts, though, if you want to fail the test. Get two money, two uh, resources. Or two money, two cards. Does that work? Yeah, for you. If you fail. It's not the plan. If you fail. All right, then we'll parlay again. This time, we'll go two. This cancels out. Three. A copycat this four I'm at five to three that's this test what you're doing what is this i'm copycatting that is it have to be a skill card for a skill it's got to be this oh yeah so we'll but if that. you lose you know it could, it could be could pay off yeah. for you so i'm at two three those cancel out 
four to three. I'm ahead by one. If I fail, I at least get rid of arrogant, which will make my actually. Maybe you just plan to fail. Yes. Let's wait on these. I'm just gonna commit arrogance. Well, you got to do copycat to get the take heart. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm gonna copycat take heart with an arrogance. Those cancel each other out. So then I'm literally at a one to a three. Seems like a test you shouldn't win. Is there any downside? Mm -mm. Uh, if you fail, he attacks you. That's fine. Minus two. Minus one. I fail. So arrogance is going to go away. That'll go to the bottom of your deck. I'll gain two cards and two resources. Yes. And he attacks me, so I'll put one damage here, and I'll take a sanity. And then these will go back, and then I should be able to clear that next round. So move, do a thing, do a thing. Okay. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with this um, keeper of secrets. We're gonna try the test. It's gonna be a bad one, but there is an out. No, it's not a good one. Uh, how bad is this? Oh, one doom from the nearest calls it. Ugh. So bad. Okay, let me think about how bad this is. So my skill is a 2, 3, 4. So I'm currently a 4. The difficulty of this test... Oh, wait, he's just straight up engaged with me, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Haunted is minus 3, so it's 3 to 3. Difficulty here is plus 1 from Quick Learner, so it's 4 to 3. I get a minus 3, so I get on to 1 to 3. I can't pump that at all. So this all gets annoying. Nearest cultist adds a doom, courtesy of the gas mask. Worst thing you could draw there. Uh, then fail the test. So I take a horror. Fail the test, get an extra action. Fail the test, draw a card. And then it's still worth one doom, yeah. So I will then live and learn. Get plus two to the next attempt. It's still a plus one difficulty. So now I'm at four, five, six, minus one for So five to a four. Five to four. Unexpected courage. Seven to four. First action. Get it. Boom. Minus three. Still succeed. All right, wipe that. It's the first test. Okay. By the way, I'm going to fast action Lonnie. Heal one from this and remove one from her. And spend a resource. So now action two of four. Let's take a shot at Keeper of Secrets. Two of four. Test is currently a three, four, five to a four. And I've got I've got some things. So it's five to four. Now a tictophobia is absolutely ruining my day here. And I absolutely hate it. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. What's it do? Uh, when you fail, you take a horror. Mm. Just the worst for her. Did they put this in the pre-con? They did. Mm -hmm. Why would you do that? To drive you crazy? So aggravating. So I can either take two to clear that out, and then take my last action, shot keeper of secrets, take three sanity. Or I can't. I don't I literally don't have the time. I will lose more sanity doing that. All right, five to four. Coming and you, in. And you have Granny. I got Granny. Make that rabbit's foot work for us here. <laughs> plus one. Five to four and a plus one. Some would say it was our destiny. That's just beautiful. Five to four and a plus one. Keeper Secrets is gone. Two actions remain. Evade move? I think I might be on evade, evade. Okay. 
And I, then I respect that. Next turn, I'm on shoot. Probably punch. On the lodge jailer, evade. And then shoot punch three of these pesky. Now it would be nice. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna clear out this deck. It's gonna reshuffle. These two will go right into the discard pile if I murder them, which which may well be happening. All right. So then third action. Let's do it. We're gonna evade here. I've got a four mm -hmm. minus one difficulty, but a minus one to skill. So that kind of evens out. So it's a three to a two on the evade. Don't like that at all. With Granny? With Granny. So I can technically go two up. Three to a two on the evade. All right, Jailer going to get evaded. Three to a two. If you fail here, maybe I pump this. Hold on. Because failing here is really bad, because then you take a, take a sanity. Hmm. Gosh, that's so bad. These tests are so bad. Gall is good. Hood is bad. Gas mask is bad. Okay. Let's go four to two. Let's commit this will. Yep. Didn't even yet. Nailed it. Now I have one more action. I can either run it up. Or I feel like with how close these evades are for you. Clear granny. Yeah, this evade is not worth taking. If you just... I don't know. It would be tempting for me to move out, take the damage, and then you have one enemy you're trying to evade next round. Uh, well, at that point, they're aloof. The, do they pop off like that? They pop off. Well, oh. no, they don't, do they? I don't think they do. Because you're already engaged? Yeah. Now, what I could do is I could shoot here with the Derringer, which makes a lot of sense, ultimately, because I'm at minus one right now. Take a shot with the Derringer. If I miss, I get to place an ammo back. Um, so it's at really a no, it's a no loss. And then you sit there with one, so I probably come back in and Derringer there again. Try to evade there. I really just need a chance to get these weaknesses popped off. Yeah, you need a rest. But I've got I've got good ideas. Do your bestest. Do your bestest. I think I might clear Granny here. <clears throat> but she's so critical. Mm. I need a way to do one more damage. You know? Ever think about that? He's I'm got really retaliate. Yeah. That's bad. It's so bad. My weaknesses are so bad. Your weaknesses are nothing. They don't do anything. They do nothing. They aren't great. I don't know the right thing. And what what's your next turn gonna be? You're gonna get the get the puzzle. Yep. And then we'll see if the act advances at that point. Mm -hmm. I feel like my keys need to be as close to you as possible. Unless I have the lucky key. That's true. You may indeed have the lucky key. Okay. One, two. And then Granny comes in. I could also get that thing. I'm going to take a shot. We're going to go three, four, five. Minus one to skill, minus one to difficulty, so it evens out. So I'm two up. Success. Does two? Does two. So we are set for the next turn. It's going to be a murder party. And that's me. All right. So enemy's enemy. Enemy's enemy. So I'm going to take one and one. I'm going to take one and one. One and one. Honestly, what I need to do is draw another granny here. So she can take it. Then everything readies. Mm -hmm. We draw the cards. 
and gain the money. Hmm. Okay, this just got really interesting. This got very good for me now. Very good for me. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Here, you want me, I'm gonna go ahead and go. You good with that? Oh, uh, we're not. We we gotta go to the bad stuff. Oh, that was the end of it. Yeah, yeah. So draw a card, gain a resource, Did top that. of the hour, gain a doom, and then do the bad stuff. Evil past. Mm, we're gonna get two of those, aren't we? Uh, I'm gonna end up taking two horror. Yeah, if I get one of those, it's over. It's not. Place two doom on the nearest cultist enemy. It's gonna be the one that's going to die. And then we reshuffle. Does this one? Yeah, this one is gonna be out. I think so. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. 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 That was our bad cards. We're back to the top. That was that was harmless. It was ultimately harmless. We're gonna put a doom ultimately. Right, because when you defeat him, he's going to move one over. Ooh, yeah, I'll put it on the Jailer. That's, this is going to be so good for us. Yeah? Uh, maybe. Well, okay. We'll let see. Me, let me start. <laughs> yeah. I am going to first do something, basically, to, to go through some cards. So I'm going to uh, do an evasion attempt with Slip Away. So I add my book my foot so I'm at eight nine ten eleven you're evading Nathan 12 I'm trying to draw cards oh. like I, I'm digging to make this next test my best so I'm 12 to four I'm ahead by eight I also turn off the retaliate Yeah, it won't exhaust him down, but that's fine. Yeah. Head by eight. Head mm. by nine. Nice. So I will succeed. And I draw a card from that first off. And then I'm going to use the cigarette case to look at the top nine. Yeah. That's really what you wanted there, huh? Yeah. Pick up the best one for me. And I'll shuffle the rest in. Opportunist bounces back. Nathan's evaded. Did you get the card you needed? Or a card? It, it helped, yeah. For sure. I've got a two bump, bump in the discard pile. That too, could end up mattering. What would happen if Zach copycats an unexpected courage level two and it fails and it says return it to your hand? These are the these are the questions that we came here for. Yeah, this needs to go back in the bag. Yeah, I'll get there in a second. Would it go to my hand? Because that would be incredible. Oh yeah, I forgot to do this. Because it immediately ran out of cards after mm -hmm. you went. Uh, now, yeah, take two horror and test through brand. I failed the test and take two horror. Yeah, you failed it. I got it. Is there even a way you could pass it? No, there's not. Um, I'm gonna parlay with Nathan. So he's a three, I'm a one. We're going to go... He can't attack you if he's exhausted, too, I don't think. I don't think so. I'm going to add four. It's the whole point of exhaustion. One of them is Daredevil. So I'm going to discard until I get a card that can be committed. Not that. It's got to be a skill. Yeah. That was the card I got. So I essentially added two. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four, five, six to three. I'm ahead by three. Mm -hmm. Can't hate it. We need to draw from that ability. Yeah. Nice. Nicely done. Minus two. I win by That's one. Important. My opportunist goes away. But this happens. So it says, uh, then if there are two resources on him, add him to the victory display. He doesn't attack me. And then the puzzle box. Mm-hmm. Use an investigator to take control of the puzzle box in advance. When you're defeated, give control of it to another investigator. You got it. 
It's yours. You can have the puzzle box. So unexpected courage, but go to my hand and then go to the bottom of my deck. That's fantastic. Like magic. Um, here's this. Thanks. Oh, and so we did that. This advances. Yeah, advance on. I hope it doesn't say any cultist attacks you. Act to be. If it says that. The puzzle box. If you advanced by defeating Nathan. Nope. If you advanced by evading Nathan. Nope. If you advanced by parlaying with Nathan. Unexpected, really. Because uh, it says. Advance by evading Nathan. How do you do that? By parlaying. Sorry. Okay. Right. All right. Listen. Collaborate and listen. Nathan <laughs> explains quietly. Truth is, there probably is a safer way for us to open the device. This building holds many secrets, more than you could possibly know. But time is running thin, and Mr. Sanford wants it open by midnight. If you can open it before then, great. If not, well, if I were you, I wouldn't be around around it when we try to force it open. He hands you the device and walks away, leaving you in silence. The four keys. The device is nothing more than a locked puzzle box, just about large enough to hold a pair of shoes. The diagram on its surface depicts a broken pattern which can be manipulated to no apparent end, and there does not appear to be a keyhole of any kind. If investigators at the same location control the puzzle box and all four keys advance, game over. Okay. So I have one action left. I'm going to move here. Any victory we can snipe here? Let's, 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 just the facts, please. Um, okay, so let's go one, two. Are these going to be victory? Um, it's, I shouldn't be paying attention to that. We just got to get out of here. Yeah. So literally next round we can do it as long as we don't lose. Yeah. Okay, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to evade that Lodge Jailer. And don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay? Just don't worry about it. Vedic says, don't be greedy. Marcus says, oh, Stephen, you sweet summer child. All right, so let's evade the Lodge Jailer. And let's do our math. Like we always do. So I've got a four here. As my stat, I've got no buffs. I'm minus one because I'm haunted. So it's a three. Plus one difficulty because of a quick learner. I'm not that quick. So it's a three to a four. And I think that's what we're going to do. Three to a four. Let's make sure that's that's right. No, I don't want to do that yet. I don't want to do that yet. But if I kill here, one doom goes on. Because mm -hmm. it says no matter what, if there's a thing. And that puts us at what? Four, five, six, seven. We'd be at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If this guy goes away, nine ancient evils could easily advance. So there's three there. So I want to do the evade first. I definitely want to do that. Now... Can you take one punch from each of those this round? Can I? Yeah. No, I cannot. I can precisely not do that. But what I can do, I just want to make sure that I don't. That being a four test is way worse for me. Three to a four. Mm. I've got some cards in my hand that make this different. So, reality is, I can get to you next round. I know. That's why we're just trying to survive. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on! Three to a four. I'm kind of stuck on a plan because it's a fun plan. And go six to four. With a granny? Evade there. Then, if, you know, if that happens, I don't want that retaliate either. Hmm. Wow, this is incredibly tough. Okay. Let me think about this for just a second. You good. And we'll get it done. Haunted is awful. Atictophobia is awful. It's all awful. Three to four. What are the chances of drawing a minus one, really a minus two or better? So skull is a minus two. Hood is almost assuredly more than a minus two. This is more than a minus two. They're not good odds. Sometimes you just think to yourself, those are not good odds. 
Them's not good eyes. I don't like those eyes at all. If only it was not plus one difficulty. So I need to make that my second test. The evade? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm make the evade my second test. But if I go ahead and kill here, we get one doom over to the thing. Now there is a world where kill, evade, move, I probably won't have the goods for the Lodge Neophyte. Yeah. I mean, I, I think the... If you... I, I could fail the parlay test as the first option. Get your extra action back. Get the action, take a, take a sanity. So I go to seven. And then all eyes on not losing. So that that's actually that's actually the best outcome. That's actually the best outcome for me. Let's so let's you start fail there. the parlay. I'm going to test three on the parlay. We'll see if we fail. Because we'll, you're at two book. We'll get to make a decision. Um, at four book, mm. two, it's three. So you could succeed actually. It could succeed, and okay. if that's the case, it changes the math, which I may have done, but I don't think that I did. So two, I'm at four minus one is three. The test is plus one, so it's a four. So no, I have I have failed that test. By how many? Uh, by like one or two. But I think I still want to go with plan number one. So I'm at, this is the problem with the game when you have all these things. Four, three, it's a four test. Three minus one, so it's two to four. So I failed by two. So I'm going to take a sanity. Ooh, bummer. And then I'm going to get an extra action. Then second action, I'm going to evade here. Just don't think about it. And it's four minus one, so it's three to three. Okay. So... Here's what I'm going to do. And I do think that this is the right thing to do. I think I'm going to fail that test. I could granny it into, into madness. But I think I'm going to fail that test. Three to three. I'm going to throw this up. Yeah, so we're going to do that. So we're going to fail it. We're going to put one on granny. Unfortunate. I don't like it any more than you do. Gonna play dumb luck, fail an evasion test, put it on top of the encounter deck. That gets him out of there. Oh wow! Yeah. What? So we got two tests remaining. So then we go to the third test, which I cannot fail. You must succeed. You must too, succeed. Too big to fail. What happens to those keys if you die? Actually, that's technically not true. Because I do have neither rain nor snow, so all effects of the failed test are canceled. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't <laughs> use it. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna shoot the Knight of the Outer Void. Um, it's gonna be one off the Derringer. This is the third action. So my skill is a three or five, minus one for Haunted, so it's a four to a three. But it's my third action, so it's actually a two. So four to two, plus three, seven to two. I like these odds. Oh, I should have also rabbits footed that first test. Although there's one. Huh. I probably would have done this. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do it. So I would have drawn off the rabbit's foot, and then I would have played Grit Your Teeth to get plus one to everything until the end of the round. OK. That makes sense off that first test. So now you're head by six. Head by six. That's right. Only one way to fail, and we haven't seen it all game. Zero. Zero is not it. Wow. Clear that guy out. So parlay, fail, extra action. Second action, evade, put on top. Third action, shoot. One remaining. Last action. Move. Go get some victory. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> you just dive in. Because <laughs> I can't even get to you. Now, is there any way that things dogpile to me and attack me. There are.
Like if we get that thing where he attacks and then I drop all my and takes steals a key, it's game over. So how close are you? One, two. So actually, if I tuck in here, we can have them go. It always targets you on that card, or is it the closest investigator? It always is you, isn't it? It's you. Because they, no matter how often they have to go, it's the closest to you. OK. All right. But I think you just move one closer to me, just to be safe. In mm -hmm. case if something does happen to you, I want the keys to be there. The keys can here. drop onto the Now, do they drop onto an enemy if an enemy is there? I think it's the location, right? I think it goes to the location. Then I just have to get there. Let's make sure. Uh, eliminate pleats to the key on the location. OK. So yeah. OK. End of the round? End of the round. Enemies are all aloof. So that's not going to happen. That's right. I drew my weakness that I lose my money at the end of the round. I think ready one and draw a card. Another granny. Draw a card and gain a resource. Then we put doom on and bad things happen. One doom goes on and so then the bad card. Eight? Yeah. Technically, we could hit double ancient Double ancient would do it, yeah. Lodge, jailer, any sanctum location. Down in the doorway here. Comes in with two doom, it won't advance unless I hit the ancient evils. Ah, please don't. Please don't hit the ancient evils, Arkham. There's three in the deck. It's the one hope that I have. Great. Keeper of Secrets, any empty location. Doesn't matter. Down here. <laughs> Tuck these guys away into the sanctum. It's our turn. Okay, so we can get to each other, yeah? You want to go to the lodged gates to finish this off? You can move up there. I'll move up there and meet you. Yeah, let's go. Let's get out of here. Move, move. Move, move. Boo! Is that the last act for sure? Act 3B, yes. All Opening right. the that box. That was insane. Through the box itself seems to... F though, though the box itself... Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, come on. What are we thinking here? Mm. The amateurs. Though the box itself seems to fight you at every turn, with all four key components in your possession, you finally manage to piece together how to open the contraption. First, you twist and contort the box's many mechanical devices until the image on its lid lines up perfectly with the diagram in your possession. Doom? Uh, tablet. Oh. Next, you chant the Latin incantation inscribed on the small wooden plaque you found. Hood. Showing the icon. It takes you a few tries to get it right, but eventually you hear a click as the surface of the wooden container shifts and changes. A round indention has appeared on the side of the box, matching the size of the mysterious black onyx coin. This is the gas, uh, gas mask. As soon as you place the coin inside, another wooden panel opens on the other side, revealing a keyhole. That's Finally, really cool. you insert the key, of the key of bone into the keyhole and turn it. The lid begins to open, and suddenly the entirety of the room is engulfed in a rush of air as all light, color, sound, and matter is sucked into the box. Check the campaign log. I'm on it. If the investigators are members of the lodge... Yep. We are. Resolution one. Yeah. Yeah, we're playing it cool. You got the book? I got the book. Oh wait, the book. I got the I got the thing. All right, here we go. To the book. You got this? You want me to get this? Yeah, go ahead. You got the you mic there. I'm trying to see where that next ancient evils was. Okay. Yeah, Re if resolution yet. one was reached, page one thirty eight. Whew. That was insane. All I right. had to fight. That was crazy. Oof. Was it? A, was, did you find it? No, there was no ancient evils up there. Five down. Yeah. There's three in the deck, though. Every fiber of your being is stretched as the box pulls you in. However, before it can accomplish its task, the lid is suddenly slammed shut by an elderly hand. You reel backward and collapse as the pulling force ceases. When your senses finally return to you, Carl Sanford is standing over you, unflappable as ever. I see you manage to open the device without defeating its guardian. How fortunate, he declares. He examines the box close, closely, removing the key and the coin from the container and recognizing them instantly. I had a feeling you would be a valuable asset to the Lodge, but it seems I underestimated your resourcefulness. Perhaps it is time that you learn the truth behind our organization. I have a feeling you are destined for great things. Unexpectedly, Mr. Sanford hand, hands, hands the puzzle box back to you, along with the components that unlocked it. Come with me. There is much to discuss. In your campaign log, record. The investigators discovered how to open the puzzle box. Any one investigator may choose to add the puzzle box story asset to his or her deck. This card does not count toward that investigator's deck size. We'll do that in a minute. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. One. No locations? Not cleared, not cleared. No, uh... Nope. 
Uh, proceed to interlude three, the inner circle. Wait, I get pl I get one experience. One experience. One. It's like going to one of those frozen yogurt bars, and like, you can only have vanilla. It's like, what's the point? One experience. Yep. Boy, those things came in and out, didn't they? Those cherry berries and stuff. The froyos. I haven't seen that in they fro years. Goed. That was it. I get one experience for all of that. Are you serious? Back. Are you serious? I am serious. Zach. My Zach says not quite Essex Express tier, but this was very. Close. That was very close. That was yeah. That was uh. That was stressful. I didn't need that. It's been a stress. Everything's stress. Why is everything so close all the time? You know, it's to me though. It's nice to have something so stressful. What? That this is the only thing I thought about for about two and a half hours. One experience? One XP. But we didn't take any trauma. Well, we could say that about everything. There's experience in these doorways. Just saying. It's like not going to the left of the level when you're playing Mario. Nope. Victory 2. Ceremony room. I would love to. You be. take a direct horror every round you're in there. Unless you have the skull key, mm. I would have been just fine. But you need to get four clues off that thing? Yeah, it would have happened for sure. No way. Okay, uh, forced. Uh, so this is where we can unlight uh, Brazer at our location, a torch at our location. Exhaust the spectral or deal five. So who's who wants this? It doesn't cost any, uh, really. Do you want to be the spectral watcher person or... Does it matter? I might be make better use of it only because I have four actions a lot of the time. So I, you know, I can just do stupid things like that more commonly. But it really, actually, no, you should take it because you go through your deck like a crazy person. So I'll get it. So you should get it, and then the Spectral Watcher is done. All right. Uh, and then we're supposed to go to Interlude Three. Oh wait, no. Interlude Three is what happens if we. Oh wait, mi we missed the Interlude. Interlude 3, the inner circle. Didn't you read this? I didn't read this page. I thought it was the next scenario. Oh, no. Interlude 3. Keep going. <laughs> Hold the phone. Hold the phone. You get no experience, but a lot of story. Hey, we have to make a decision. There could be experience at the end of this path. Ooh, yes. You've been brought deep into the inner sanctum, where only the highest-ranking members of the Lodge are allowed. We made it. Mr. Sanford explains that the Order of the Silver Twilight is far older and more important than the public-facing Silver Twilight Lodge and that their knowledge extends into the realm of the arcane and the obscure. For many decades, the Order of the Silver Twilight has pursued knowledge that can elevate humanity. We have defended against the threats to our very existence. We have sacrificed everything for the sacred cause. Now, one of those threats terrorizes our city, and we are the only ones who can stop it. You know the creature I speak of. You nod in affirmation. Here is what we know. It was the witches who brought the, this abomination upon Arkham. We tried to stop the ritual, but unfortunately we were unsuccessful in binding it. Now it is loose, and we must finish what we started before the witches are able to do the same. But first, I understand you have some information for us as well. Please hand over what you have found. It is important that we collaborate in order to understand the situation. The investigators must decide. Mm. Choose one. Give Mr. Sanford everything you found. Tell him you have nothing to show. You are lying. Well, as my mom always told me, if you're going to deceive, you may as well do it wholeheartedly. As my mom always told me, if you're going to lie, tell the truth sometimes so that they think you, you believe it. Oh, so one lie and one truth makes uh, makes it even out. Makes it fitty-fitty. <laughs> <laughs> makes it even out. One divided by one is one. Um, what do you think your character would do at this point? Well, they've been nothing but right, haven't they? Yeah, but they were definitely in Justifies the Means greater good conversation. Well, I mean, you're not exactly Captain America over there, Winnie. But I only lied to them because I thought they were untrustworthy. So you're saying your ends justified the means? <laughs> uh, you know. What do you think? I don't know, man. I, I kind of, I'm so scared about what I don't know that I don't really want to be facing it alone. Like. I say we give him everything. Yeah, give him everything. Give him all we got. All right, here we go. You ready? I'll give him this 18 Derringer. 
You show Mr. Sanford the evidence you've collected. Hmm. Yes, I see. It is as I suspected. He murmurs as he inspects the trinkets. Cross off each memento listed under mementos discovered in your campaign log. What? I'm not going to cross them off. I'm going to leave an X so that we remember the journey. Check the campaign log. If the investigators rescued Joseph and the investigators told the lodge about the coven. I don't think we did either of those things. But ah, we told the lodge about the coven. We rescued who? Joseph, Miger. Didn't we kill him? I don't have that written down. Wait, we did. Investigators rescued Joseph. So we rescued Joseph. Both of them are true. And told the lodge about the Ooh, coven. Ooh, threaded it. I've never done this in Arkham before. I did Jen, all the right things. Jen says, wow. You rescued Joseph in the scenario yeah, too, Yeah, we you, did. Nicholas, yeah. We nailed Retro it. Retro Daniel saying they're trustworthy if you're loyal to them and believe in their ideals and methods. Rescued Joseph true? and we told the lodge about the coven. Hey, we're on the up and up, man. We are. All right. Page 150. Proven loyalty. Carl Sanford grins and rises to his feet. You've proven yourself a loyal asset to our order. I believe it's time that you ascended to our inner circle. We're about to get knighted. You approach, and we're and we're totally not are actually a part of this. Are we? Are they gonna <laughs> cool? We're still in? faking it, right? Uh, right, right. <laughs> wink, wink. Hey, man, you, you still faking this? Are you in now? <laughs> you you approach and kneel before Mr. Sanford. He spreads his arms wide and declares, "I hereby appoint to you the rank of Knight of the Inner Circle. Arise once more, Knight, and stand tall." You are now one of the elite guardians of humanity, keepers of truth, and stewards of the Silverlight Twilight Order. Now that Another member of the Order offers you a folded blue robe, and you don it solemnly. Now, I am sure you have many questions for me. We do not have a lot of time to dawdle, yeah. but you deserve answers. What do you wish to know? Oh, my goodness. You may ask up to three questions of Carl Sanford before he, his patience wears thin. One at a time, and in any order, choose to ask three of the following questions. Okay. We can ask, what is the creature? What do you want with this creature? What do the witches want with the creature? Did you know about the creature before the charity gala? Where are the four missing persons from the charity gala? I'll tell you what I don't think is important. I think Zach's right. We should ask him for experience. <laughs> you got any of them victory points? <laughs> hey, you hey got Carl. Any more XPs? <laughs> So I think the least important question is, do you know what the, uh, did you know about the creature before the charity gala? I already, they definitely knew. It's water under the bridge at this point. The charity gala is what they used to get people there in the first place. Right. So, so we know to that. To get the, the monster to show up. What happened to the four missing people? Uh, so we don't technically know that. We played through it in the prelude, but our characters don't know what happened. I mean, they got, they got I mean, misted. That's what we started wanting to know is where are they at? But I think most importantly is, what do you want with the creature? I need to know their motive. But shouldn't we establish they're not murdering the four people first? That's why we started this whole thing, right? You start at the end? Didn't we start with what are the four people? What's the, what's going right. on? Well, were we, we investigating? Were we not investigating their weird the murders? Persons, yeah. Yeah. Well, let, let's ask about that. All right. So we say, where are the four missing persons from the charity gala? God only knows, Mr. Sanford. Ah, oh, come on, Sanford. Taken by the revenant, revenant, perhaps, or swallowed by the mist. He considers this for a while, then adds. I suspect that if they are still alive, they cannot be far from the Revenant. For better or for worse, the anomaly seems localized around it. That's it? That's it. And then no. I say, I say, we say, like an RPG here. I want to know what they want, they, want, they want with the creature. Where's the side quest? Yeah, okay. That works. First and foremost, we need to bind it to prevent it from doing further harm. That is of paramount importance. Once it is bound, we may be, me, we may be able to learn the secrets it possesses without endangering ourselves or others. Okay, so bind the monster, and it, you know everyone got swallowed up. What What are the other questions we haven't asked? What is the creature? What do the witches want with the creature? Did you know about the creature before the charity gala? I mean, you you is it any? Why do witches want this creature? That's not even a. They're witches. You know, they want to spook people. Isn't that right? That's how they power up. <laughs> Isn't that right, though? I've seen the witch. I mean, they want to do weird floaty stuff and, and, and bathe in its evil. I, I don't think that's a... I mean, what do you so think? So would you rather know if they knew before the gala or what the creature is? Asking if they knew before the gala would say a lot. Would it, t would it say that, like, hey, we're, we're here to vet you? We've already, we got the robes on. I mean, I don't think we can really... Yeah. Are we going to just walk out the door at this point? Although I would be curious, to, I would I would like to 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 signal to them that you know our loyalties lie in making sure that that we're keeping you honest too. 
we're not bought in fully. It's like, if you knew about it, then we want to know, because then we're not into your little cult game. We wouldn't want them to know that, though. Well, we can lie after that point. <laughs> we, we Just out of curiosity. So do you want to know if they knew? Is that where you're at? Uh... It's either that or what the witches want with it, because we know what they want to do. They want to bind it. I would like to know what the witches want with it. But also, if we if we learn what it is, we might be able to fight it more accurately. Is that correct? But why in the world would Carl not tell us what to do if, if we're here to fight it? Like, wouldn't he say, hey, by the way, like, it hates fire or whatever? It's a tough call. Oh, wait. Check your campaign log. You can only ask the following question if the investigators survive the Watcher's embrace. How, I mean, how would we know that we didn't? I didn't say that... I didn't write that we survived, but we I didn't don't, I don't survive. think we survived the Watcher's embrace. Did we not? What's the Watcher's embrace? Was that the beginning? When we got knocked out in that witch house? We definitely did not survive a lot of things early on. David Whitfield uh, saying it like it is. He says, who cares if the Lodge knew? Assume they did. That's my, I assume they did. Okay, let's That's assume why we that. Have to so are we asking about the witches then? Or what is the creature? That's such a boring question, but it's the most reasonable question, isn't it? We did not. So we can't ask that question. We can't ask what? which one? The one that says that we can't ask unless we survived it. Which is? <laughs> why are you looking at me like that? Oh, man, we could do that? Dang, that would be a fun path. Um, I want to know if the witches... I want to know if the witches want to do with this right, thing. Here we go. Okay? I'm sure they wish to learn its secrets and draw from its power. He theorizes, stroking his beard, perhaps allow one of their own to become possessed by the spirit and hence gain power over life and death itself. That seems useful to know. After you've asked three questions, go to page 164. We can just look through the other ones, though, can't we? Just so we know. Just to enhance the story. Man, this keeps going. Carl Sanford gives the trinkets and strange components to another member of the inner circle, who retrieves them with care and brings them upstairs. Thank you for your assistance in this matter. We're stronger together than apart. Don't you agree? Mr. Sanford rises to his feet, if you have to ask, and the other members of the order follow suit. He addresses the other members of the inner circle. All right, we have no more time to spare. The ritual must be completed at once. We shall use the same site as before. The central p pillar of the unvisited isle, where the barrier between this world and the next is thinnest. It is likely that the anomaly will pursue us there, so act with caution. It's getting sketchy again, Then man. he turns back to you. We will require your assistance as well, of course. The device you hold is the key to binding the revenant. You must use it properly when the time comes. Do you understand? You nod in affirmation. You require my assistance. Taking a deep breath to steal your nerves, you prepare for the journey to the unvisited isle, a journey toward death itself. Proceed to scenario six. Cool. Union and disillusion. Cool. It's cool. That was cool. You switch me back? All right. All right. Well, welcome to Arkham. We, we, we did it. That yeah, was that sufficiently was a, creepy. That was sufficiently Arkham. But I have one experience that I can't do anything with. Yeah, I'm just going to sit on it. Look at it. Hate it. Save it. I might have one. Cherish keepsake or a leather coat. Now I did. Ooh, I did get that. That's a nice four sanity soak right there. There's a lot of witch stuff going on. I'll exile it. <laughs> Zach Mago says, uh, "Power over life and death." It's not a story the lodge would tell you. That's from episode three. I'm, uh, I'm adding it. I'm adding this cherished keepsake. Let's see. I think I have a flask. This scrapper. What a what a card that I will Look, never I have play. This liquid courage. Spend a supply. Choose an investigator location to heal a horror. Then that investigator tests two brain. If they succeed, they draw a card. If they fail, they heal additional horror and discard a random card from their hand. That's pretty good. It's really good. Give a little pip. A little pip off the old uh, flask there. Pippity pop. Grim's Fairy Tales uh, is fine. It's really just a skull card at this point. Will to Survive is fine. Take card, old keyring. Yeah, so Scrapper is a card I'm never going to play. Um... But it does give me the uh, the pumps. The sounds, bombs sounds bad. <laughs> the bombs. I... I've got a case of the pumps. I'm gonna drop a scrapper for a cherished keepsake, because I'm a lover, not a fighter. It's interesting that I haven't yet to play a switchblade. This. Well, yeah, you play the gun. I do. Play Although the, gun. the the early switchblade is nice in scenarios where sometimes you don't have to 
don't have to get the gun out. But let's be honest. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm I gonna hit all of these weaknesses. I'm gonna drop have. one streetwise for liquid courage. Yeah, see, because we don't play the cards where you spend money to buff stats. Because of course you don't. Yeah. Gary Weston says you can buy twenty percent of Chuck Fergus. <laughs> That's right. Look at how bad these how look at how bad these cards are. These these weaknesses. So let's just can we just take a second? You built you 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 have an investigator starter that is all about an investigator that is going to take big tests, fail them, and then at the end of the thing, it would do way better at the end of the, the turn. So you give me a weakness that says if I fail, I take a horror. That's awful. Give me a minus one to all my stats, forever awful. And you give me if I take a skill test of four or higher, I take a damage. Why do you have three weaknesses? That's a good question. I'd like Did to know that myself. At some point? I added one, I think, for some reason. This is crazy. Matt, did you do that? Did he do this on purpose? I mean, I mean, it really becomes a you have to take the time to get rid of it. I didn't know. I know, but Isn't that crazy. You, you could have. I didn't have it. I didn't have the time. Sometimes you don't have the time too. And in cases when you don't have the time, you don't spend the time. Does that make sense? You just take the penalty. You don't have it. You don't spend it. Sometimes, see, this is the thing, and this is this is one of the things that made me better at Arkham, and honestly, at a lot of games. There are certain things in your brain that you establish as true when it comes to what you should be doing. And it's like when a weakness comes out, most people, and I've seen this when I play with groups in Arkham, the, only, I, the next thing I have to do is get rid of this weakness before I can move on. Not a lot of the true. time, you got to spend six turns just getting dunked on by a weakness so that you can win the game rather than losing the game without a weakness out. Yeah, but it's the classic like debt math where like the longer you let it sit there, the more you should have definitely removed it. Oh, yeah. And we had one game where you got jumped on because you had like three or four of those. You could spend stuff to get rid of it, but you just never did. But imagine what would have happened if I had wasted the time to do it. Who if knows? You, will we have lived long enough to see the other side Who, of it? You know, yeah, that's exactly the question. 100%. Thank you for joining us, everybody. It was it's a freaky a Friday indeed. It was, it was a really good one. We didn't dunk on it, but we didn't not dunk on it. We didn't get dunked on so That's right. We got dunked on before, not a lot. It was actually two scenarios ago. And then it got a little better. It went okay. And this went decent. I would consider it victorious, but not like by a lot. We got to sweat through this one. It was a lot of sweating. Yeah. I, I mean, like I, proverbial. I, not actually. I, yeah. I was really sweating. In a, at, when I ran out of water, my brow, my brow it was getting tense, or the door was shut and it got hot in here. It was a lot. You start zooming out, zoning out. Hey, I'll say it again before we get out of here. I have something to say as well. Major I just, shout to, out, I just want to get a uh, to everyone mark. that is a subscriber getting these packs automatically from us. Uh, we couldn't do almost any of this without you. So props to you. Appreciate it. If you're unfamiliar, we have a subscription service. You can sign up and automatically receive all the Arkham stuff. Uh, and it's super easy. You don't pay until it's happening. And it's probably the best way to get this stuff. And a little, a little bit of inside uh, math here. Uh, Arkham has been one of our fastest growing and consistently growing subscriptions week over week. This year, uh, this year, and it's it's been a revolution um, for what we're able to do, and honestly, just being able to not uh, worry so much. Well, for a long time, we didn't stream Arkham because we didn't want to spoil stuff. Warrior. Yeah, for people, and it also was like not sure how many people would actually be interested in watching cooperative gameplay like this, mm -hmm. especially because like by the time we're not spoiling, you've seen it. So how right. interesting is it to actually watch? It does very interesting. The reception of watching it, and there are people that said they've gotten into the game by being able to watch it, and the number of people signed up for subscriptions has been tremendous. So it's so cool to get the opportunity to introduce so many people to this game and to have that direct support like that. It really is insane. And also on that note, I, I think it was last week, I think I said, hey, you know, if you got a subscription, leave a review because we've got a, a, a lot more subscribers than we do people who have left reviews on the site about the subscription. And one of the things you guys know, many of you probably signed up for the sub with some hesitation, with some like, I don't know, is this weird or a scam or, or are they actually going to deliver on this? Um, and then, uh, you know, assumingly you find out that that is all very legit. Uh, many people have been here since the very beginning. Uh, Which is crazy. And I think they probably know by now that, yeah, we're not running a scam here. We're real people and we, we just want to provide a service that uh, works for these kinds of games. But all of that said, you know, I woke up, I think, that next morning, and there were, like, 13 reviews sitting, awesome. sitting in the in the queue. Um, and that was amazing. Like, I, it's just so nice to, to get that kind of response. So 
Um, thank you to everybody who left reviews on the, on the custom products and on the, the subscriptions themselves. I really appreciate that. That helps us continue to move forward on our, on our business. Zach on chat was asking for where to leave a review. I'm going to link to it. You can basically click on any product. Yeah, any of the products. And leave a review from the leave tokens review, to the subscription. you got to log in to do it, um, and you can do that. But a lot of people did that, and that, that continues to be a big part of, of why we're able to, to succeed. So just want to thank you guys for that. And if you do want to leave a review like you, Zach, um, please let people know that you know whatever your honest opinions are if they're really bad don't post them publicly just just send, send me an email or uh you know send a letter <laughs> tweet not, uh, you can tweet at us want, hey you can also it. text us we'll see if bryce is still paying attention uh this is really uh i've been having a lot of fun with this we launched the ability to text social media etc all kinds of bad stuff about that but short version is um it's a way for us to interact Boom. and communicate uh, outside of social media, outside of the algorithms that control what you're seeing. And it's been really cool to be able to get in there and just like have, I've seen a lot of names in chat of people that are texting with us. I I think it's really cool. It, it's been fun. So if you, have, if you aren't on that yet, text us, you'll see how it works. And then you can, uh, if you enjoy it, you can stay. And if not, you can get out of town. <laughs> you ready to get out of here? All right, speaking of getting out of, <laughs> getting town, right out of uh, town, thank you guys all again. It's been amazing. Uh, we'll be back next week with another Freaky Friday. Until then, stay safe and have a great weekend. Bye, everybody.